I'm just looking to hire guys that I don't mind hanging out with for like 12 hours a day. You guys seem like cool guys. You got hair similar to mine. You wear tuxedos to the interview. That's funny. It's ironic. I get that. You're kind of underplaying the whole formality of it. I think that's funny as hell. So let's do this. You know, you guys are hired. You're in, you know, unless you're like the weirdest guys ever and I don't see it. Great. Is that a fart? I don't know. I can taste it. On my tongue. Okay, I, I'll be honest with you, I did fart. Is that onion? Onion and onion and ketchup. It stinks. This is a small room. Oh, shit. Okay, now the tuxedo seem kind of fucked up. The following program is closed captioned for the thinking impaired. Coming to you live from Studio 5, high atop the Meadowbrook Building in Metro West Massachusetts, it's the Wicked Pisses Show. Good evening, it is December 26, 2016, 8.06 in the p.m. if you're on the Eastern Seaboard. I'm Byron. And I'm Bob. And I'm Allie. And we're the Wicked Pisses Show. Welcome to Show 27. I still can't believe it's twenty. I know we were like arguing about that earlier. I would know what show number. Everything is with you. can't be twenty-seven already. Everything. Oh, just flying through the shows. So uh, we did manage to bring up videos. Some of you are watching on a Facebook Live right now. Uh, Hopefully, still up. Uh, The sound should be okay. Mm -hmm. If not, do let us know. Our chat lines are all open. However, you want to chat with us, we are on Spreaker.com. Skype That's line open. is open. Skype is open. And that number, Byron? 774 314 7044. That's according to my little piece of paper here yeah. still. And we always have Ali uh, monitoring a variety of different things for us. So if you uh, message us or comment on Facebook, uh, hopefully Ali will catch that somewhere along the line. Um, okay. you know, we're, all, we're all paying attention. So if you, know, if you message us, we'll get it. Uh, again, we're on Facebook. You do may notice uh, a different background today. A little bit of echo. A little bit of an echo, yeah. We're gonna, we changed uh, studio rooms here. Um, but yeah. we also decided to get rid of the green screen. Uh, it was a bit, I think it was more a pull on the software itself. Um, that and my eyes. Yeah, yeah I think. Yeah. That really kind But uh, for, for now, we kind of put that on the back burner. Change the studio around mm-hmm. a bit. Mm-hmm. Right, enjoy some actual... Uh, video of just us because if you if you tuned in to watch the background and you're watching the wrong fucking show uh, <laughs> pretty much yeah, yeah i gotta agree with that uh but you know hopefully that'll ease up on the software like i said it wasn't burning up too much uh cpu before uh it was just i think uh the greens multiple things happened but now we're just ones. gonna light it on fire yeah hopefully yeah. we'll torture if we have to All right so uh it is the day after Christmas, and what better to do than listen to our show? Sure. Right. You've unwrapped all the gifts. You You've haven't eaten all the turkey. Off, cooked and cooked <laughs> and cooked and cooked. And then today you went and brought back all the gifts you didn't want. <laughs> and now you're sitting around the house. No, you don't do that the day after Christmas. Sure, no, you, do. you give it a few days. Are crazy. Oh. So yeah, yeah. crazy. Unless you want to, you know, get a fucking homicide case. Do you guys purposely put hair on this thing? I actually no, rubbed it across the, my ass today. I know, right? Cat, it smells cat, like fucking ass. It's a cat hair magnet. It's a cat hair magnet. It is. So, um, anything in this room really is a, a cat. You get a white, long haired cat. April Fools, we should rename the show The White Cat Show. The well, white cat. Um, All right, huh? I'd like to start off. We received um, a card from. The Black Dog Radio Show. Hey now. All right. Oh. I didn't open it, obviously. I wanted to wait for the. For the that. I'm going to change some things around real quick. That's here. my little trumpet for. Stocking. Oh, look at that. Very nice. It's wishing you many joys this Christmas season and throughout the new year. Merry Christmas. The Black Dog Radio Show. Yeah. They all signed it. It says a very Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to our good friends at the Wicked Pisser Show, Bumper Byron and Allie. Sweet. And Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. We appreciate it. And uh, next year, we'll send you a card. We just couldn't get our shit together we this year. We hang this up. Oh, yeah. We'll hang oh, absolutely. We'll put an extra shirt. Yeah. The uh, shirt's behind me. If you can see the bottom of the T-shirt behind me, 
we're going to get that so that yeah, black dog's working. right on my back. And I also switched around. <laughs> I also just, uh, some of the people that are watching noticed I switched the cameras around uh, so we look like we're facing this the right direction. This is our first show in the new studio, yeah. by the way. And so far, everything's pretty cool. We're happy with it. Um, this is our third studio, we, you know. Yeah, that? well, yours and mine, and then your mm-hmm. second studio. Yeah. Yeah, we'll have to do something. Uh, we'll enhance uh, Allie's background there at some yeah, point. Yeah, we'll do yeah, something. Yeah, a little better than a fucking brown a door. Closet door, yeah. Well, we'll light the door uh, yeah. on fire. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait a minute, though. A closet behind door behind me is probably a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, what we could do is, you know, instead of the green screen, we can get, uh, like, fabric of the Patriots logo on it. Put that behind Staple it. Staple it to the wall or like something. Like the Patriots. I do like the Patriots, but I'm not... And then you can change it every now and again to something else? I'll finger it out. Okay. She's going to finger it out. No. <laughs> he's all fucked up. Well, Jesus I've been Christ. drinking all day. Leave me alone. To, I wanted to stop at the package store and pick up something for us to, you know... Shot. Yeah, to get hammered on <laughs> Yeah, and then basically. make things really fucked up yeah, on your and second then, hour. and then make it so that I don't remember, you know, when the next <laughs> oh, show yeah. is until about an hour before it starts. What I'm like, you? I'm like, I get a message from Bumper, you coming? I'm like, um, what are you talking about? <laughs> what do you got in the cabinet, man? You must have something out there that we can have, you know? Got some orange vodka. Uh, can't do vodka. Some grape vodka. Oh, there we go. I the grape vodka is good. Yeah. I can't you got, do any, any, you got any Sprite vodka. or anything, though? Or? Yeah, a little bit. There you go. One, I think I got a little. You couldn't do the vodka? I can't bit? do any oh. vodka. No. Oh. I did not exactly. get a chance to go to the store and get what I wanted. The spam oh, and wannabe what spam. Want? Oh. The spam and wannabe spam. Well, I want to try that for next week. Uh, ah! That's, wow, that's, that that's on you guys. <laughs> loud and offensive. <laughs> I wanted to get. Uh, some spam and the, the wannabe spam from like uh, I figured I'd get maybe something from Job Lot or Walmart. You know the. See, I'm always <laughs> kind of worried about those oh, places. I bet the, I, I work. I'm thinking it'd be better than spam. Years ago, I worked in a distribution center yeah. for a off-brand name place, and uh, I saw what happened to the shit that was in there. It's and okay. Gonna... You know, the, you keep it yourself and. You know, she told us about mayonnaise at McDonald's, and you still go. Yeah, but mayonnaise yeah. at McDonald's. Yeah, fucking nasty ass. I'm thinking the person got a little bit of herpes themselves or something. Oh, yeah. well, you know, you can, you can find a million ways to blame, and uh, but I don't know. It's, that's kind of fucked so up. I got some fucked up news. I, I guess we're going to call it fucked up news. Go for it. George Michael. Yeah, George Michael. Dead at 53. 59, I thought. 53. Oh. 53. I thought it was yeah. 15. Uh, according to well, the New York can. Times, he died yesterday at uh, shortly before 2 p.m. A uh, 53-year-old man was confirmed deceased at the scene, and the stage of the death is being treated as unexplained but not suspicious. Um, I would like to know where celebrity news has its way coming out of your mouth. <laughs> it's George Why? Michael. It, it doesn't matter. It, he's still a celebrity. That's my. That's my well, shit. Let's Nesman get back into your corner, man. It is. But I had a little George Michael tribute ready. Oh. His, apparently, his partner found him in bed, dead. Um, I'm guessing it was AIDS. His partner, because he huh? he was. Um, he had AIDS for quite a few years. No shit. Yeah, he, well, I guess that's cruising he was, bathrooms. He was he was AIDS. Yeah, he was. He had AIDS for a long time, but um, very sad. Also, um, Carrie Fisher had a massive heart attack. No shit. The oh. yeah, the day before Christmas, I believe it was Christmas Eve. Is she all right? Um, she was flying from London to LAX. And 15 minutes before the plane landed at LAX, she had a massive heart attack. There right. hasn't been any updates on her yet. There was one like minor update that she's in critical condition. Oh, is she? Yeah. That, fucking, that really that sucks. sucks. Yeah. I mean, it that's sucks su- that everybody's dying, you know? Yeah. yeah. Somebody else died too recently. I forget who. Oh, who? I suppose I should know. Uh, if I'm going to talk about it, I should know about it, but I just... Oh, wow. I'm seeing this picture of George Michael here mm-hmm. on TMZ. Looking bad or good? He's fat as hell. I can't, oh. I can't believe the weight. Look at... Oh, yeah. Holy shit. Holy fuck. That does not look like... I don't no, think but anybody that doesn't look it. like someone with AIDS. Go either, on, go but. on, go on. Uh, look up um, photos of 
George Michael. Uh, he um, was pretty overweight. If but also it could be case. something of, of, of steroids, you know, part involved with. Uh, but if you're if you've got get AIDS, getting. you don't get fat. Well, you lose weight. Yeah, but I'm thinking it, it could be another health issue, maybe a heart issue, or something that would have I don't would have given I don't him a think steroid. So he had AIDS for years. Yeah. I'm not talking just HIV positive. I'm talking full blown AIDS. So. Oh. Yeah. Was, uh, he was a talented performer back in his Yeah, day he day. was. I give a shout out to uh, Chrissy. I see you listening, buddy. Chrissy's listening. And All Big right. Dog. Hey, Chrissy, this one dog. goes out to you. Yeah. Ready? No. <laughs> a little bit more George Michael uh. for Chrissy. All right. So, uh, yeah. I love that, that was... song, Wake Me Up. Oh, Before You Go Go. By Wham. We, we listened to that earlier. Oh, and, yeah. Uh, that, that's high on the. Uh, on the list of uh, oh, I forgot to turn off my uh, my sound on my phone. Oh goodness! Where is boom bomb? I don't even know where my phone is. Oh, it's in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he was all pissed off. He lost a vape or something earlier. All right, was, was, I did. Yeah, I lost uh, an expensive. Vape. Oh shit! Uh, yeah, well, shout out to Big Diesel. It's dead. Good man. Hey, Big Diesel. Yeah, I was watching some of their show we on are, YouTube. Oh yeah, I saw some of that. Yeah, I also found another channel attached to it. But well, I had been listening to it, and then I, I wanted to catch some of the video, and it it looks cramped. I mean, you know, it's kind of like the room looks like this size all with all the minute, you know. Um, but yeah, it, it, it says it's not as cramped as it looks. It's we don't have to, thirty people position. in it, so no, no. But uh, they had a great show, not a funny show. Oh my god, I played it for a, a coworker. Yeah, we were sitting there laughing our ass off. They're calling stores all over the, but Louisiana. I love that. That but that fucking Toys R Us that pre-recording. Fucking you know, hate oh, that. You can see the voice. spikes on the on the yeah. uh, on speaker. Yeah, it's kind of wow. Fucked up. The greatest Toy Star in the world. Oh god. I almost lost my voice trying to do that. I know, I was just going to oh. <laughs> You sounded like a bitch. <laughs> oh, thanks, Allie. I appreciate that. <laughs> hey, no, um, why don't you do your little echo douchebag in the news? Oh, okay. <coughs> a quick note on this episode of... Douchebags <laughs> in the News! That and I think you actually posted this one. This the guy, the security guy, the Broncos. Yes, game. I did. Did you see did this? Did anyone uh, see that? The video of uh, go to our Facebook page. It's on a Facebook page. The guy video of a, a security guard from Epic Security or yeah, you know, contract security company at a sports venue at the Chargers venue yeah. in San uh, Diego. The, yeah, uh, Broncos and Chargers, I think, or something. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was the San Diego where they the, the story read that it was San Diego yeah. Chargers. The guy is just going to town. The guy is he's a security guard on the field, uh, just feet away from the cheerleaders, and you can see he's got his hands in his pants, and you can see him masturbating. Yeah, mm, that's fucking. Gross. <laughs> it, 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 oh no, my you, God! He is that it, how it sounds when you jerk off, Byron? <laughs> It's how he was Flapping going at him. it, though. I mean, he was he he would he would pause for a second. Oh yeah, you could tell when he he was having a good and a good like, moment. He's like, oh, I gotta slow down. And then he do yeah, run back on it. Yeah, <laughs> and it was like someone would come by and he would just stand yep. there for a second. <laughs> and blah, blah, blah. I'm looking for it. No one's. Oh looking yeah, it's on our Facebook page a little ways down. Uh, Byron had posted it for us. Um, but yeah, that was fucking. I was freaked out. That's another fucking perv, yeah. you know. And of all places, I mean, how many kids do you think were sitting right up there? You know, somebody knew enough to they took video of it, and the guy got fired. But well, um, yeah, yeah. Once I, they identified, him. it's not hard to freaking, uh, you know, identify. Uh, okay. I had something, but Google refreshed my, my late food. night. Was sad. No, oh, what's up, Ed? Hope everything out, hey, good out there, Ed. Wisconsin, huh? What's Wisconsin, in, uh, the land of Oya, Milwaukee, and Madison. Yeah. How far down is it? Uh, it oh, be. wait, there it is. Yep, it's pretty, pretty disturbing. Yeah, so that video we're talking about is it's on a Facebook page. Check oh that out. <laughs> um, yeah, what a fucking skeevy widow he was. Oh yeah. Um, but yeah, I had to show her. He must Wilbur. have been really excited yeah, about I know. the game, right? Oh yeah. He and had then, never you'll, been. <laughs> you'll see the videos pan over to uh, the cheerleaders. And then you can see he's kind of he's looking at oh, direction. Oh, he's looking right at him. Yeah. yeah, And he's just you know his hands. <laughs> All right, stop motioning. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, this is how you do it, folks. But uh, <laughs> this is how we do it. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, let's see. Just, there was another bit oh, I had. Second. I got to go. Here we go. Uh, do, 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 do. Here we go. Why does it keep on saying? Yeah. Oh, what are you going to pull it out? We got what? It's... Oh, those, uh, it's taking too long for me to find. <laughs> Rizzo says the three pisses. <laughs> <laughs> now, see that I could, I, I could almost picture Rizzo doing that at the game, but like under the blanket, he'd be, so he'd be smart is, about it. This is probably this is this is my rendition of what he sounded like in his head. Oh, it's these sound is just kind of. Come on, bark like a dog for me. <laughs> That was uh, Carl took, Spackler from Caddyshack. I was going to say, you just took all that time to look for that. It was Carl Spackler. He's, oh. he's the best all right, well, assistant I'm, groundskeeper. Ah, ah, there was one thing I saw. Uh, uh, owner employees of a motor, ship, uh, motor sports dealership in Connecticut, Tallinn, Connecticut, uh, were arrested and charged by Connecticut State Police and some federal agents after they defrauded... A you know a, a loan program that was to benefit veterans. Uh, what they did is they fraudulently filed for discounts and credits from a particular motor, uh, well, a motorsports company like yeah. uh, Polaris or something like that. Polaris, how do you say it? Uh, Polaris, yeah. yeah. But uh, a couple of different companies uh, had been deprived of a thousand, like I think it was twenty-eight thousand dollars. Um, or something like that. But they, what they did is they were taking that money and applying it towards uh, purchasing parts and stuff. Basically, the the company was just jipping both the program and customers of that mo- of, of those funds, and were spending it to buy expensive parts at a discounted price, and you know, pro- not all profiting on profit, basically, you know. Uh, but yeah, oh, there's come anybody who um, tries fuck? to defraud a program that's designed for veterans, um, yeah, you know, really should go fuck themselves. Um, but yeah, it was a program uh, through the U.S. Army. Uh, DOD got involved. U.S. Army Criminal Investigative Command, uh, as well as the state Connecticut State Police, got involved. Shark Cycle in Stafford, Connecticut. Oh yeah. Um, sorry. Sorry, <laughs> I had a long day. They were uh, using identifiers of veteran customers, like d- dates of birth, social security numbers, etc. Um, and when somebody made a purchase, or whatever, they applied to these, uh, applied those documents and got credits. You know, of a thousand bucks, pretty much a thousand bucks a piece. And that company, what happens is the company makes a credit by selling these vehicles to veterans. If they sell a vehicle to a veteran, they get $1,000 credit to their parts account. So they were then using that money to buy parts, you know, to make money off of that. But kind of like how the company, uh, that's how they saved. But basically what I'm saying is none of these people were veterans that were getting it. Or they or they got the prize of that, you know. The company yeah. getting it for themselves. So, right. So it was a promotional thing. Uh, I just think any anyone who defrauds a veteran uh Program, any type of veteran program. Anybody that defrauds any any kind of program. Yeah. Is a piece of oh shit. yeah. You know, same thing with the uh, food stamps or whatever. Yeah. Same thing. Fucking and then you know the store owners are no better by taking them. You know you get fucking you can get cigarettes, liquor, all that if you know the right place. You know. Oh yeah. Okay. So you get a six pack of beer uh, for five bucks or whatever, but you use your food stamps. So the guy charge you EBT, swipe you for something else, but for ten bucks. You know. Whatever. But. Yeah, I heard that if somebody wants to sell their food stamps, they're worth like half the value. So if you have like 200 food stamps, you can sell them for $100 in cash. Yeah. Yeah. And then the, uh, because that, well, that, that store will just bullshit a $200 sale of something that yeah, would be absolutely. legit, but not actually selling it. So they keep all that inventory and able to sell it again. So where they actually make they three or four hundred bucks in profit. Yeah. Yeah. That comes around to the same story that we talked about before with that lady that said, fuck America, the Muslim woman. Oh, yeah. And buying, you know. Intentionally um, jipping it all. She was buying food stamps from customers and going to the stores and buying soda cases and cases of soda for her own store. Yeah. And she got caught and she got pissed. And so yeah. 
fuck America. No, fuck you, bitch. Uh, a black dog, big dog's on speaker because uh, trouble on Facebook. Oh, well, I hope uh, whoever is watching Facebook, it's okay. High winds in Chicago. Who oh, would have yeah. figured that? Right. You know? That there is a place where winds are really high all the time. You know. Well, if I remember correctly, it's like uh like just an hour west or southwest yeah, of still Chicago, but Chicago. Yeah, the whole. It's always Chicago. A lot of wind off of the Great Lakes out there, right? Chi so. Town. So, <laughs> yeah. um, I was driving in the car the other day, and I happened upon this radio show. Uh, I could didn't catch the name of the radio show, but um, it was pretty informative. It was they were talking about. Um, these overdoses there was in West Virginia there was 20 overdoses in the matter of four hours in this in the same area Wow! because the heroin was cut with fentanyl yeah (laughs) which is extremely powerful and the new big addictive thing oh check your messenger I sent you a a pic okay which I thought would be pretty funny to post or put up there um uh, also, in West Virginia, there uh, there's a private pharmacy that um, any any private pharmacy you could take a prescription to, um, whether it's forged or whatever. No, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> whether it's forged or whatever, and <laughs> um, and they'll fill it for you apparently. Um, but there was so. Private pharmacies versus, you know, big company pharmacies like Walgreens and CVS. Um, this one private pharmacy went through 9 million Percocets, gave out, dispensed 9 million Percocets in one year versus Walgreens, CVS, 6,000. Six there has to be some 6, sort of... 6,000 versus 9 million. Yeah, that's... There has to be some sort of oversight committee that... There is, but stuff. there is, but there's also lots of loopholes yeah, that junkies jump through, doctors it, jump through. They they made they did implement a new system a couple of years ago, but it new. It still doesn't they, work. I'm telling you from yeah, experience, yeah. it, it doesn't is, fucking work. They passed a law for it's it. Not, I'm not saying I'm buying Percocets. That's <laughs> not that's not what I meant. It's <laughs> not what I it's, meant. Um, <laughs> oh, that was too loud. Like any uh, like any new thing implemented, it honestly in, in government. Takes years for it to to, to be developed, you know, yeah. just because the state says, "Okay, we're going to do this." Okay, that's fine. But a lot of times, when they approve something, there's no plan in place to actually, Hell. you know, beyond what's on paper. There's no, you know, nobody did any bids or anything like that, you know. So there's still the whole process of creating a database. You know, well, it's like every. Itself. It kills me that I, it, I, I'm going to get off track here just a little bit. Go but for it. every right wing or every lunatic out there with with a uh, YouTube channel who's walking around saying the government is watching them, they're infringing on their rights and this, that, and oh, the other thing. Oh, my God. And then they, they, are we, they, I'm, people, I'm sorry, I apologize. I didn't mean to interrupt. Are we taking calls to Skype up? Oh, we Skype are. is up. Skype is up. The, yep. the Rizzo would like to know if we're taking Absolutely calls. Absolutely, the Riz. The Riz with a little bit of jizz. Can oh. Call in. Sorry. Oh, if you can't remember the number, Rizzo, it's 774 314 7044. And in case you forget it, I have it right here on paper for you. There you go. It's always on the bottom, bottom of our Facebook video. But back to uh, what I was saying. I, I've been watching these people and they say, well, the government is keeping tabs on me. Well, if the government can't keep track of anything, the government can't keep track of anything. They're yeah. spending thousands of dollars on a toilet seat that I could get for 50 bucks at Home Depot. That's yeah, like get. you're going to only spend 50 bucks on a toilet seat. Uh-huh. No, I'm, I'm, get <laughs> the, Byron, but- I'm getting the heated one. Alexa, <laughs> turn on the toilet with, seat. With the, Alexa, bidet on high. <laughs> hey, bidet on, bidet hey. on, clean my tonsils. All right, see, that happened by accident the other day. I, was, <laughs> I did. I just, I, I was cleaning the I, toilet. I, I, had, I had flushed, and all of a sudden, the, the water pressure was low, and then the water pressure in the tank stopped, and it went. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> hey, nice. Hey, we got a call here. Uh, Outstanding. Sounds like the boy man named Rizzo. Thank Rizzo! you for calling What's the Wicked Pizza Show. I mi- What's the point? I, I don't know. What's going on, brother? What's going on? Are you laying in bed already? 
No. No. <laughs> yeah, you bastard. He has, he's got a bowl of ice cream on his stomach, and he's laying in bed. No, I already yeah. had the bowl of ice cream. Bowl of ice cream is gone. Uh, <laughs> laying Christmas on the couch. Up next. What's that? The Christmas cookies were up next. Uh, oh, the yeah. next victim of Rizzo's demise. <laughs> I'm no. watching NFL football and WWE, so I'm back and forth. <laughs> hey, did you see that video that uh, we were talking about as far as the guy jerking off of the game? The security guard? No. Made me think uh, of you. Yeah. <laughs> there's, a, there's a video. I would it's on a Facebook page, <laughs> and a security guy at uh, San Diego Chargers, and I think Broncos, but at Sandy in San Diego, um, the security guard was like just feet away from the cheerleaders, and a fan caught it. You could see him, guy with his hands in his pocket, jerking off. Literally, you could, oh, you know, clear as day. That's he's, bad. He's going to town. He's stopping, you know, and he's like, you, you could tell that the feel good moment. Don't do it yet. Don't do it yet. You should, you should <laughs> just jump. Past level three, but a level five. Yeah, <laughs> we got fired. I'm like, what a retard. But I, I say, hey, you know, Rizzo might do that, but he'd be smart about it, doing it under the blanket, nobody would see. You know? Yeah, be under a blanket if <laughs> a girl or yeah. yeah, right. Just not out there, right in front, standing in front of thousands yeah. of people. Yeah, it wouldn't be obvious. So you know, somebody caught it. Fuck up the car first or something. Uh, that that <laughs> phone call is wicked echoey. Is it echoey, man? I don't hear echo. That's no, but. Right. Our, our okay. listeners Hold on, on Facebook I might, are okay, getting yep. that. Yeah, let me see. You guys have a lot of technical difficulties. I know. No. No, we wouldn't be the Wicked Pizza Show otherwise. It's mainly because of you. Yeah. Hey, man. <laughs> hey, Rizzo. What's up? What's uh, up? See if that's any better from our uh, listener there, Byron. Yeah. Byron's got like the direct bat line to like fifteen hundred of his own personal. I'm, lo- I'm looking up that story you were talking about, Rizzo, about sinkhole in Michigan. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that play. Yeah, yeah, it says the a Michigan couple watched their home crumble from ah. a sinkhole. Yep. Oh. It was on the news. I was like, oh my lord! Yeah. Like, don't don't drink the water in Flint, right? Oh. That's it. Oh, yeah, a little geez. bit of lead never killed him. So, uh, Wait, tell yeah, us, I did. Okay, never mind. Tell us about the. Uh, you're going to work in this uh, Frank the Tank show or what? Thinking about it. Thinking about it. Frank the Tank Show. Huh? Yeah. Rizzo's thinking about doing Frank the Tank Show. Make start up his own yep. little thing. and yeah. Which probably be best for him because it work on his schedule. Instead of it'll be like one, <laughs> once a, once a year. Night, evening, afternoon. Yeah. Right, yeah. You, th- you, think our, you think our schedule is kind of crazy. It's Skype on your computer. Yeah, you guys, uh, you guys right, are well. like late night, late night. I'm like probably early, early show. <laughs> yeah, about uh, 3 p.m. to... Three fifteen. Maybe I don't know. I'm thinking about. It. Yeah, I, I remember you. That. I remember when we used to have the old forty-five minute show. You'd work up a sweat at about twenty minutes. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, so I probably God. have a half hour show. Not over. There you go. <laughs> you got to have a theme. What are you going to use for a theme? I don't know. Might be the eighteen theme song. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure. I will call in. Thinking about it. Thinking about it. Oh man. I, you know, I think you should definitely think about it. You know, just uh, you do it whenever you want. You give know, us some inspirational easy. thoughts. And, yeah. Uh, give and us a little something yeah. to pick on. You know what would be fun? If you did it from your bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> I, could have a, I could do different segments all over the place. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh. hey, I see it now. I'm just sitting on the toilet having a thought. So I figured I'd tell you people. <laughs> Oh, scared you. Rizzo moment. Yeah. No, don't, yeah mind, don't moment. mind that kaplunk splash in the background. <laughs> yeah. yeah a Rizzo awesome. moment. He just, you know, randomly while on the toilet, go live and give his stock update for five minutes. Hey, you know, he, th- he thought of a great company and everyone should get in on it. And uh, I think that would work. That way, it would be funny. I mean, if he did that like five or ten minutes here and there, you'd probably get a lot of. Uh, oh, I can imagine it now. He's going to want this, though. Hold on a second. Oh, I got. Uh, I'm not gonna guys tell you where it is, but I have a DJ tryout tomorrow. You'll laugh when I tell you if I get oh. the gig. You text me. I won't share it. Here we go. And now, yeah. our right. own lonely huh. boy with a Rizzo minute. A Rizzo minute. Remember that? 
Yeah. Hey, give a kid a turkey. Yeah, kid I'm a like, kid. oh, give the it was kid supposed a turkey. To be a Rizzo Entertainment Minute, and he goes on about turkey. He's talking about donating turkeys uh, to little kids. On the well, street. he felt bad. He saw a kid Wilson's in the cold in yeah. line to get food or something at the food pantry. And I'm like, oh. Vince Wilfork steals my ideas. <laughs> oh, my favorite one, though, that I have. We'll, we'll have to play it sometime is uh, Rizzo at Disney World. And oh, he, I wish. Fuck that. He, he miserable. He talks about the misery, this and that, nothing good, blah blah blah, and then at the end, it's not bad. It was fun. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. it's not for the uh, uh, what's it called? The fame. It's not right? for the guys who yeah. want to uh, be in the house. Type I got to tell you, our trip to Vegas. Yeah, you're a house cat. Uh, I got our trip yeah. to Vegas. I wanted to record half of the shit that you said. It was absolutely brilliant. Oh, I, I have a lot of stuff from a, trip, I still, a previous I still think trip. That lady has a hex on me. By the way. <laughs> Oh, that from was Atlantic, Atlantic City? City? Oh, my God, yeah. <laughs> yeah, all right, yeah. You should have paid her, what, the 1800 she wanted? to 2500 Yeah, 2500 and then throw the little stone that yeah. she gave you to put in your pocket in the ocean. Well, you know, if you play your cards right, you could probably dish three or 400 over to Allie um, as she continues to expand in the Wiccan world. Yeah, she could probably um, take the Wiccan world. She, she, yeah. she might be able to cast because some type of, uh, of spell. Or, uh, psychic school. Yeah, she, she might be able to cast some type of spell. To, I got to uh, tell you, I think Allie would make a, a better. She, she'd be better than a psychic. She'd tell you what's what. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, I'm sure it would be far less than than twenty five hundred <laughs> bucks. She, she wouldn't charge you that much. And you know, you'd yeah, be in and out of it about three or four minutes because she'd be right to the point. <laughs> yeah. I got such a rep. <laughs> <laughs> so, you guys going? You, go, you guys going to the tea after? No, I don't know. I don't know why you you going you going out. <laughs> I'm not. I'm going home. Probably. Oh, he he's not. What's what's that? You're masturbating. What? Yeah. Oh, you're debating. <laughs> okay, yeah, sorry. Yeah, well, he is I an asshole. I, I agree with you, Rizzo. He's an asshole. <laughs> oh, all right, brother. Hey, it was great to hear from you, dude. Hope you had a merry Christmas, Rizzo. Yeah, I hope you had a good Christmas. Right. How, hey, how'd the kid make yeah, out? Not too bad. I didn't get any socks or underwear this year. It was pretty good. <laughs> you, you did right. What'd you get? No sock. No, no socks or underwear this year. Oh no, shit! That's that's a good year. Yeah, that's a yeah. good year. Yeah, yeah. I would have been grateful for socks and underwear. I would have been grateful for anything. Oh, that's what he usually, I didn't get he usually gets every year. I got for, nothing for I Christmas. Bought my, I bought my wife one of those pressure cookers. A what? Do a, I bought one of those pressure cookers? You, you know, don't buy your oh. wife a cooking <laughs> utensil for Christmas if she requests it. You do. Know. You do. If she requests it, yes, yes. If she requests it, yes. <laughs> well, the first that's, that's the bullshit, Rizzo. Oh. Should have been something for her and her I, alone. I can guarantee you, if she's unwrapping it, he I, was sitting there going, "Hey, dude, get in the kitchen, pressure cook, cook something." <laughs> yeah, yeah, hey, go out there and make me All some right. chicken. Oh. All right. All right. I, 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 exchanges. Yeah, well, that's it. She's gonna get what she wants anyway, right? <laughs> yeah, buy gift cards from now on. <laughs> <laughs> Well, honestly, yeah, like I, I, I hear what Allie's saying. You know, the kitchen utensils kind of sucks for Christmas. You know, my wife had actually asked for a mixer, but kitchen like it was, but it's like a I don't know, two hundred bucks for the fucking thing. Yeah, what? I did. Yeah, kitchen aid one. It helps me out too. Yeah, no, I, 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 I'm not. You know, I. But to me, I'd rather buy it some other time. Right. I don't think buying it at if Christmas. If Rizzo's is, wife asked for a mixer, Rizzo would hey, go. She asked you for a copper chef. The copper chef in, but I couldn't find it, so I had to go with a pressure. Huh. <laughs> How the fuck Something is that similar different. in any kind it, of way? It really isn't. But. <laughs> just, oh my as God. Well, that's why I was saying. She <laughs> said, I want yeah, a mixer. Her, fit, fit. Do, oh, like Jesus fit, Christ. Oh, I guess I got a story about a Fitbit. Wilfred told me. <laughs> Wilfred. Uh, Nothing shelf love. Like <laughs> Wilfred, Wilfred, a Wilfred got a Fitbit. Now, I, I didn't know what a Fitbit was. So I said, what the fuck is a Fitbit? And he goes... I, I said, is that, you know, one of those things that tells you how many steps you take? He's like, yeah, cal- calculates cal- um, calories, basically tells you you're a lazy fat slob. Is what he <laughs> <laughs> That's what he well, told me. Well, I got me. it in pink for her. I didn't get it in black or brown. You didn't get one for yourself? No. <laughs> I know how many calories I eat way too much. <laughs> you don't need a reminder? I don't need a reminder. <laughs> Rich from the Black Dog Show got Jill a four slice toaster. Ah, we got. I got my mother in law one. That's that's the way to go. Yeah, I you got, men really know how to buy for women. But hey. back, to, back to if 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 Rizzo's wife wanted a mixer, he would run right out, look around for a little bit, get a little frustrated, go and get a wooden spoon. 
I would have bought you one, but they're out of stock, so this has to do. Yep. They only had the <laughs> manual a, one. It's a mixture. Uh, right. Damn creative. What can I say? <laughs> uh, all right, brother. Thanks for calling in, man. Hope you had a great Christmas. Uh, you guys do Happy New Year if I don't see you guys. All right. And we Happy can't New wait Year, to right hear now. from the Frank the Tank Show. Thanks, uh, Frankie. Later, brother. All right, guys. Thank you. We'll see you. Bye. So this is going to be the last show of 2016. That's right. That is. That's yeah. uh, well, not um, really sad. 2016 kind of sucked anyway. Yeah. So, so yeah. speak for yourself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jill bought a four. Got I mean, uh, Rich bought Jill as you mentioned a four slice toaster. Is that is that a bad thing? If she asked for it. If if they ask for it, then no, it's not a bad thing. But yeah. you don't just go out and buy your wife a vacuum cleaner for Christmas or her birthday. Yeah. That's just bullshit. Because expect to have that vacuum if it was given to me, shoved right up your ass. Right. Ooh, hey, if you want, uh-huh. I, I, I if if I'm gonna get something for my birthday, I want it to be something that that I want. It right. should be something that I want, not something that's gonna help clean the fucking house. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Fuck you. Uh no. So, do not buy Allie a case of uh, Windex or anything for Christmas. All right, so I'm going to go. Nobody, no, no, I didn't get nothing for Christmas. That's not so right. We're going to have to take care of that. I'm going to break in with another uh, yep, 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 yep. douchebag douche in the news. Okay, so. What do you got? Well, you got a Webster slug is uh, using her diabetic son's health to scam people by selling pies for school fundraiser door to door. So this That's, woman is going door to door, selling pies for her son's school. Uh, she says uh, he can't come because he has diabetes and can't handle the walk. Turns out the son does in fact have diabetes, but she's not actually selling pies. She's using the disability to pocket the cash and never deliver the food. She also did her homework and found out that the uh, one of the elementary schools in the area was in fact having a pie fundraiser at the time. Huh. And uh, selling them for the exact same price with the exact same drop-off date. And she made it seem legit. So she's using her kid as a uh, GoFundMe for uh, whatever. Yep. It's fucked up. Not a piece of what shit. people they're doing. And that's, that ruins it for the people that do legitimately exactly, yeah. need it's a fund. You know? Absolutely insane. But that was, that was a douchebag in the news. Yeah, and it was. And there's uh, plenty of them. We could go for hours on that. Yeah. What you got going over there, Allie? Nothing. Nothing? No. No? Mm-hmm. You're just here, huh? Yeah. Well, I mean... Waiting for something. As far as I'm concerned, I only had 45 minutes to an hour's notice about this show <laughs> because I was shit-faced last week and didn't remember <laughs> that we decided on no, tonight. No, no, no. So no, you weren't shit-faced. You were just plain old wiped out. Yeah. <laughs> And I was shit-faced. We drank, the, we do- well, we drank the doctors no, last I'm week. I'm saying yeah. you were completely like... No, already you are. Oh, I you, were, you, were, you, were, you were giggling so and laughing. I need fucking <laughs> reminders and shit. You know? All right. Well, I'll take care of that next, week, next time. We'll, we'll set up the automatic Wicked Pissa warning yeah. <laughs> uh, device. Yeah. <laughs> Allie, uh, texted Allie. Hey, you coming? Is there a shower yeah, tonight? I'm, <laughs> I'm like, yeah. what are you talking about? <laughs> oh. Um, Donald Trump, Jesus Christ, superstar. <laughs> hey, now, hey now. Rich here, did you see that comment? Uh, she did ask for it. Okay, uh, but so. she, he also bought her a toilet roll holder that also holds your phone. Fucking hey, that's great. I could use one of those. Yeah, you would have one of those. Yeah. Because you'd sit it like right in front of you, yeah. put your phone on, watch a video or something. Watch shit while taking a shit, man. Uh, it's I know, it's the probably best you want TV now. Well, that's that's next. That's next. Oh my god! I have well, I have a TV four in there. Oh yeah, there, you could put one in there. Yeah. But well, I just found out my cable system has an app for Roku. Oh nice! So how I set the rooms up here, and I yeah. put the bedroom in the other room, and uh, that it's got I can watch HD cable now without having cable go to it. It's all wireless. So it's kind of cool. I <laughs> need to backtrack on that story about the. Um, the 9 million Percocets, that town where that pharmacy is, the population is only 432 people. <laughs> it's, oh. uh, it's a tour- popular tourist spot. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Gee, a lot of, town lot of, of Addiction, is that the name of the town? <laughs> a lot addiction, of late night West traffic. They actually renamed the highway the Addiction Highway. Per- and, uh, Percocet Way? Uh, yes. 
a lot of late Fer- night traffic. Percocet Lane. Percocet parking lot over here, and uh, Percocet Park. Park, yes, that's huh. it. Uh, so let's uh, again uh, thank the, the Black Dog Radio Show for their Christmas card. Yes, thanks, um, guys. Yeah. Really appreciate that. Well, that was nice. We didn't do anything of. We didn't do yearly. shit. <laughs> yeah, we didn't do anything. So, uh, but we'll make sure we keep you in mind for next year or anything. Maybe we'll, we should send them something for Valentine's Day. Yeah, right? you know, keep the funny. bromance uh, showmance going. Yeah, the bromance, we'll bro- show, showmance, bromance, showmance, showmance. Because yeah, there's, bro- there's yeah, right, we got a sister. There are yeah. women involved, right? Too, so, we so yeah, we'll do the showmance. Well, right, we're all in, we're all inclusive on this one. It's, uh, You're gonna make this like one big Woodstock of the fest. We're all gonna be you hugging said Woodstock. <laughs> Uh, but our good friends at the Taking the Country by Storm The Black Dog Radio Show Because once you go black You never go back Not true <laughs> Hey where are the white women at? <laughs> Somebody has to do it Oh man show. And yeah let's talk about that real quick The uh, the Wicked Piss of Fest Black Dog Radio Show's Wicked Piss of Fest so uh, that'd be are great. we going to rent a, a, an RV? Or we, we have to rent gonna, something, man. Are we uh, going to take the monster mobile? The monster mobile. A bit. Let's take an a RV. Bit. RV, I think. RV. We'll have to go. find it. Yeah, we'll have to figure out. I don't know how much it costs to rent for a few days. <laughs> My pop up camper. <laughs> there you go. Oh, I can imagine that. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it'll work. Yeah, you get you got a you got a tow hitch for the back of your uh, for the car. We can heat we can heat it up. Can you too. imagine a hundred and ten have... miles an hour with that thing behind? <laughs> no, I've got I've got a tow hitch system on my car, obviously. Yeah, yeah but you can't go a hundred and ten miles an hour. We don't need yes, to go hundred and ten miles an hour, you <laughs> asshole. Oh yes, I can. Oh, uh, yeah, but not safely. <laughs> Nobody can do that safely. Sure, oh, you can. Oh God! Don't even get him into this. I'm a good fast driver. I can't believe it. I'm already afraid of the it's fact when I that go slow is when I crash. <laughs> I'm already afraid that he's gonna make this what is like an eight hour ride, probably down to five hours. And oh, yeah, we're usually. gonna show up ghost white. Her and I could be puked like eight hundred times in a way. You know, no. Uh, just if we rent an RV, I'll be in the back in the bedroom, yeah, just sleep, laying sleep, down, just, sleep. You guys just Sleep popping, popping, popping road sodas all the way. Yeah. Oh, I gotta keep on going. You want to oh. drive? I can't anymore. <laughs> I can do it. I can do it. Uh, but um, yeah, hey, what uh, song did we want to play tonight for our first break? I wanted break? to play. Uh, give me one second here. Escape I want to make sure we get the millennial tester. song in because we have to play that every week. Okay. Because I love singing that song. Now nah, we know that. You know. Ah. <laughs> But uh, we got a, another uh, we new get, band, I guess you could say. Oh, that's uh, the one you A friend of mine, Nikki Sin, who has his own project called uh, Sin. Yep. Also is a member of uh, a band called Tester. Uh, Tester is playing. Tester is a great band, by they, the way. They people. are. And they're uh, they're playing in Worcester. And if you're out there, give me one second. I'll get the date and location. Uh, where are we here? Here we go. Uh, it's Tony, Chucky, and Nikki, right? Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Good people. Let's see. They're playing The Cove January 27th at 9 p.m. And uh, it's going to be a it's going to be an over 21 show, I think. Uh, I think everything at The Cove is over 21 now, right? Pretty much, yeah. But the Cove is in Worcester, Massachusetts. Ooh, uh, go to their website, and uh, but uh, Nikki's got this song called "Escape" for uh, for Testa sure. and Testa. If you're from Massachusetts, Testa. If you're from everywhere else, we're we gonna play another uh, a song. I am gonna. Excellent. Yeah, I, I, I just escape. like to say on you know. As far as George Michael's concerned, he was a music legend. He sold more than a hundred million albums throughout his career. Oh, absolutely, he was fan. I I liked some of his wham stuff. in the eighties, um, churning out the hits. You know, wake me up before you go, go and careless whisper. Well, I got a quick trivia question for you. Oh. What was Wham's actual band name? Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. <laughs> 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 No, no, no clue. It was Wham UK. Wham UK. Wham UK, and then they hit it big, and then they just dropped the UK. Apparently. They, they I was, remember watching them on V66. Yeah. yeah. Wait, the can you V. Hear that? If only you go, go. V66. Sorry. 
I used to love that channel. I fucking love it. I got on there. I used to fucking fall asleep with it because I had a little black and white yeah, TV up I in my room. Too. And I used to sneak because my, my mom would walk by in here and shut it off real quick because she could see the light, you know, yeah. from up at the top of the, from the bottom of the stairs. She could see it. Get that fucking thing off! <laughs> All right, folks. Uh, we're going to take a quick break. We'll play uh, let's sign out. Well, I'm not going to sign out. We're just going to play a song. A quick break. First, we'll... Uh... You're listening to The Wicked Pussy Show. If you're not listening to us, you don't know what the fuck you're missing. <laughs> All right. We're going to listen to Escape by Tester. All right, that was Escape by Tester. We're the Wicked Pisses Show. And if you like them, they do have a web page. I'm going to get that. They have a Facebook page also. They do, yes. Uh, just a note to the Black Dog Radio Show. You guys have their permission to play their stuff. I'm yeah. going to email out uh, some uh, some of those songs to them. Uh, so that if they want to play them and share them. Uh, Excellent. They're more than welcome to. And and Nikki Sin, who is Would it be like the first share of uh, Studio 5? Yeah. <laughs> Studio no, they 5 shared with network. us uh, Power Glide, which is awesome. So Yeah. Oh, my God. I listen to that Any, Anything constantly. you can do to... Uh, I got that on my phone. Enhance but, our library. You know? But bringing out these new bands... Well, I mean, Tester's been around for a while, but 
to be able to expo- give them exposure. Right. That's awesome. And this is yeah. to, to me, this is the next level of radio. Yeah. This is where it's going. It's it, going to be the, the, the world now is your your listening audience. You know, your your possible audience. And he is party trained. Party trained always, man. Uh, sometimes but, uh, not. Not really potty trained. After I heard on the last, uh, I did rip a few before Ellie got here. Oh my god! Mm-hmm. Holy crap! That chair At you're least sitting I'm in. Nice enough to do it before she shows Yes, up. but that chair that you're sitting in. Oh, we got to get you like some foam. All right, I like that noise. You hurt yourself there? No. Okay. I didn't know if you were opening. It's a little bit, so I didn't know if you're shucking on me. So I a little bit. I, caught, I, caught I played beer guard. hunter. Yeah, asshole. But, uh, tonight's drink on my end is an Angry Orchard crisp apple. And Allie, as always, has got a scrumptious Malibu. And orange. Orange juice. Never yes. pineapple. Never. If she has a splash of pineapple, that shit will come back to you projectile. So don't give her a pineapple. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, buddy. So it's funny because Wilford told me that he used to only drink beer. I did. And now she will only drink Malibu and orange, nothing else. Yeah. She won't drink anything else. Huh? No, the, I mean, I do shots. The, she did the shots. Yeah, I, I, she'll I do, do shots of stuff. You know? like, I, like, I like a good rum and Coke every once in a while. I, I did have a rum and Coke yesterday, as a matter of They're pretty of fact. tasty. It was, um, <laughs> it was <laughs> and Brad, Brad brought it. It was, oh, um, dear Lord, it was, dear. A, oh, it no, was no. rum, but it was. It was like a, a knockoff for Captain Morgan. It oh, was Captain God. something. But it, was it was Captain it Jimmy. It wasn't Captain Morgan, but it still looked like the same bottle. Like Captain Ron. Picture of a it drunk was, being a captain. <laughs> uh, it tasted the same. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. shit. Oh, well. Well, it was like... So if, I did have a drink. I had Captain and Coke yesterday. If you ever went to the corner pub when it was open, uh, and oh. you ordered a Captain and Coke... Don't mind your You got a Captain and ours... You know, you got a... Uh, Whatever he had for rum that week, <laughs> and an RC cola. Oh, he never changed the, the the fountain thing from Coca Cola over to RC. To, <laughs> to save a little bit of money, he bought a lot of Royal Crown cola. Oh, good, good. Yeah, that stuff's not bad. It's yeah. <clears throat> not great, but. But I'd like to hear uh, if we get a caller. If you're interested, anyone interested in calling, um, I'd like to hear your best and worst Christmas gifts. Oh, well, Hanukkah, however they may apply. Uh, give Funny you should say that. I pick up my uh, a gift. Yeah, item. man, that is fucking sweet. Nice little. Let uh, you explain that a bit. This right here is a Hearst shifter. For uh, for I'll, I'll be putting this in the uh, in bit. The Bayard Insanity two thousand and eleven. Uh, <laughs> it's gonna go right. It's what nice, is it? It's a Hearst pistol grip shifter. Well, what is it? Put it right on, put it right on the shifter. And park and drive. Park drive. In your car or video game? In a car. Oh, there you go. What does it do? Make a good joystick. It's a shifter. From park. That's stupid. A lot of people (laughs) customize it. A lot of people get custom ones. Well, I've seen like the skulls. Yeah, Yeah. everybody has a skull. This is a a Hurst shifter, uh, uh, pistol grip shifter. These are, I've been looking for Okay, now I get it. Pistol grip shifter. (laughs) So what do you, do you hold on to it? Well, you've been saying it so fast, I don't know. (laughs) (laughs) Do you need a refresher? Yeah, well, she's got balls. Like frozen balls. She got oh. balls tonight. Yeah, she did you know upgrade what? those. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? I the next time. Yeah, the next time that you like dump them in, can you like fill them up with water again? I I don't. That's a guy thing. What I, is it with guys and putting a new roll of toilet paper I on the fucking thing them. and <laughs> refilling <laughs> the ice trays? What the fuck? I unloaded them, but I have been doing 16 hour shifts, and then I just put. I yeah. put them back in the thing, and I was fiddling around with something else, and I looked over, the fucking freezer doors open. I'm like, fuck! And I closed the freezer door, and then I just toddled off into the other part of the house, passed out, woke up, toddled, all the lights. Toddled off? I was very tired. <laughs> he I, toddled. I toddled. He tired. toddled. <laughs> I'm a tired. Well, your eyes roll, but you're fighting to stay awake. Huh? I am t- <laughs> I am a tired toddler. Okay, that, that would have been Allie if you caught that show a couple of weeks ago. She was passed out in yeah, the chair. Yeah, kind of funny. I, was so I did post that picture. So what picture? Well, the picture you fought asleep in the. Did she? Yeah, I put it on Facebook. No, you didn't. Oh, that was. Uh, mm-hmm. Watch. Well, you how do you not? How do you miss that? It's on our Facebook page. So it's you, her time. It's her I turn were, not to pay attention to Facebook. Yeah, like well, I, well, I recommend that both of you set uh, uh, the I follow have the as I do. Pri- uh, you know, priority. Yeah, or whatever. Well, I do. Oh. Uh, 
I don't follow it. Yeah, neither of them get, you, you know. posted a picture of me sleeping, fucker. Well, you know, at least you aren't naked or anything. You know, just, you know, just you sitting in the chair trying to find it. Maybe I didn't do it. Go to photos. Go to photos. It would oh, be in I photos. Could, well, yeah. That's I'm trying. Easy. Well, it is because I'm trying to keep this page open. not trying to bog too much down. Uh, he's bogging. Well, uh, oh, yeah, bogging. I'm bogging. Bucket a bucket a? <laughs> Um, I, I said that at work I the other day. I, I, I said that at work the other day. People. Oh, you don't know. I posted died. it on Instagram. That's where I put it. <laughs> people die. Really. Oh, they die. It was on Instagram. <laughs> like, where'd oh, you get that? Instagram. And I'm like, Allie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't listen to that show, but bucket up, bucket up. But no, I love that bucket. I, I I say that all the time now. Oh yeah. You know, it's like it going to my head, and. You know, I thought I thought we should do like some international news, and instead of calling it, you know, worldwide news or something, call like, oh, bucket a bucket of news. Yeah, yeah. now for the bucket a bucket of news. <sighs> well, what what the the context of this was? I was sitting there, and I, I had just got off the phone, and, and they're like, "Well, what they say?" And I'm like, "Bucket a bucket," and, and they're like, <laughs> "What the fuck is that?" And I'm like, "Bucket a bucket." <laughs> oh, Lord. what you got? What you got? Okay, uh, so from Tiger Lily, you got uh, worst gift. Uh, this year was oh. a bag of chili mix that expired two years ago. <laughs> you got to pay attention to those small things yeah. you buy people with something that's supposed to be edible. And the best gift was your crazy dog. <laughs> I uh, guess, yeah, right? I guess, yeah. 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 Well, I, I can see that. Yeah. Um, I can't really think of the worst gift I ever got. I, oh, yeah. I can. How about nothing? Facebook, Facebook is gone. gone. Facebook should be back up. It came, there'll be a, a delay, but it should come back up. Oh. And I really don't have that much shit running in the house tonight. I'm going to hardwire us to oh. it to see what happens. Buy that 30-foot Ethernet cable. <laughs> but All then, right, so we are back up on Spreaker. Uh, for those that lost us for a moment, now uh, we had a internet hiccup here. Um, why don't you play the bumper? The, the bumper's her, bumper? Her bumper. That bumper? Yeah. You're listening to the Wicked Pisser Show. If you're not listening to us, you don't know what the fuck you're missing. I fucking love that one. It is. It came out really <laughs> that was, good. That was good. She Wait, was that was so, just right off the cup. I was, you were so I was angry, though, oh, yeah. when you were doing that. You went like, this, what the fuck? I didn't really say what I wanted to. And then we played it back, and he went, that was pretty fucking good. <laughs> yeah. We, it was funny because we, we had to get her pissed off. Oh, man. We got her all pissed Which, off. She, and she's she finally recording got on these going like this. You're listening to the Wicked. You're listening to the Wicked Business Show. You don't know what the fuck you're listening to. <laughs> and you're just like, <laughs> Ooh, Keith and I both look at each other like, <gasps> that was great. Holy shit, that was perfect. And you were like, this, fuck you, that sucked. I didn't even get it. I, I didn't even know what I was saying. And I'm like, well, that's the best kind. Yeah, right. So we chop it, chop it, and get it up to speed. And A little bit of editing, and boom, right there. Yeah. <laughs> Very little editing. Just had to put the music in. Yeah. So we she's are, like, I hate the music, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are back on Facebook as well for anybody who's trying to follow on Facebook. Uh, Spreaker back up. There was an internet hiccup, which uh, typically happens around here occasionally. Well, hey, well, just because I live in the sticks. Not really. I, mean, I, live, I live out here because rent is cheap. Yeah. I mean, 150 bucks a month is 150 bucks a month. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's $150 off. This of is actually the inside <laughs> of a dumpster. I just painted it white and put a couple of lights in and an extension cord. Ah. My eye is killing me tonight. My dog fucking... Poke you? Right in the eye with his nose. Like oh. He was sitting down and then he started to lean forward and he shook. And his nose went right into my eye. Fucking, oh my God. You see, that's why I have a cat. I they thought I was going to be that. blind in my eye. No, he can claw your eye your out. Cat. Your cat. Yeah, right? Your cat who you want to kill half the time. Oh, yeah. That cat, that cat got a hold of your nuts tonight, too, didn't he? Oh, again. Fucking don't say hi. And <coughs> right in the nut sack. Like, hey. We're, we're, we're setting up everything. And you hear Jim go, hey, hey, hey. Get oh. away. Son of a that bitch. That was too funny. Uh, there was this other thing I uh, saw recently. Uh, it's actually kind of a na- nationwide problem. Uh, facial recognition software, driver's licenses. Mm-hmm. Um, in Massachusetts, uh, say there only been like uh, a couple hundred incidents where folks were flagged as a possible suspect in cases, so they were contacted or investigated by law enforcement um, because basically your photo 
and it happens in you know, every state. You go to the registry, you take, they take your photo. What they're doing is they're taking the photo databases and comparing them or utilizing them in the facial recognition software. Right? Yeah, cry me a river type thing. I hear you. Uh, some people are bitching about it. Uh, some say it goes too far, viol- breach uh, privacy, all that crap. Um, my theory on you know, the lawful end of things, I've always said, your driver's license, your um, driver's yeah. license, your license plate, all that, You well, most people don't understand. You do not own those. They are documents issued. issued. That's why it says issued to you. That's right. I got to bring my. Uh, yeah, you might want to do that. Huh? I got to bring my family park plates up here. Uh oh. Those actually belong to me now. <laughs> nice. They used to belong to the state, but the state revoked them. Nice. There you go. That's how it works. Yeah. Now they. Yeah, well, I know they pulled the program on the that, whole right? program because Between Major League Baseball. And the the state wanted. I know. Uh, Major League Baseball wanted a bigger chunk of what was going to. Uh, the the charity that the plate was for. Yeah. I was bullshit. As was the registry. And the woman at the registry, I brought the plates in. And she goes, no, no, keep those. <laughs> hey, hey, keep hey. those. I'll have to tell you twice, right? <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> right in the pocket. Yeah, I, I had cargo pockets at the time. so Right off the front door Slipped you go. Right well, they gave me, they got me uh, really cool plates instead, so. <laughs> oh, and it was a Teresa M. Loves Cooper. Yeah. Ball sack scratcher. Wow. He's a kick-ass little cat. Yeah. The good asshole cat. When he behaves. <laughs> hey. I woke up today. To <laughs> ah. I'm like, what the fuck is that? Oh. There's no one in well, here but me, put, and the cat is face. snoring. Oh. Right. Allie, um, I forgot. I was trying, meant to ask you earlier. Uh, was it Greg Savoy? Right? Is that the yeah. one? Yeah. Do you have that link still, maybe, of some of his songs? I was thinking later he could play another one of his originals. I can look it for it. Just thought of something. You got anything over there? You're typing away and stuff. No, and I'm looking for shit to quiet. talk about. I mean, well, what happened this week? What did you do? You don't always need to go I on in line to find busy. out. I was working. I was Everybody? shopping. I was cooking. I was fucking busy. Deal with any bitches? No. No? No cranky assholes? No, not really. Nothing cunt-worthy? And remember, if you're having something something like a service done, like your nails. Yep. Tip. Tipping. It's a big thing. We're in America, people. Yeah. It's not expected, but it is a nice (laughs) gesture that is most welcome because most of us have to make a living and we make our living off tips. I'm going to say it is expected uh, because I have a rule. If I can't afford to tip... I I, don't, I can't afford to go out. Exactly. You have you have to think that if you're going to go to a restaurant, bar, or even a, a, a service like nails or massages or whatever, yeah, you have to figure in extra money for a these tip. people are working their fucking asses yeah. off, and and, and especially though the like say, a waitress, bartenders, you know, three dollars an hour or whatever the fuck it is. I figure yeah, what it is now. Well, it's like two seventy five yeah, or something like that. So they're making like about three bucks an hour, yeah. um, and so they rely on tips. And you know, you have to look at it. Okay, maybe at the time you're at the bar, you see that bartender getting a lot of tips. Don't take that as like, oh, well, I don't really need to give much of a tip. He's making, he's doing all right. No, because you don't know. Later, it could be dead, or you don't. Know, he's been there for four hours, and you know, it's like the first hour was busy. He's actually getting tips. So you know, you have to look at that the whole way because again, he's only getting three dollars an hour. So if you work ten hours, you get thirty bucks. You know, you know, if you work ten hours for thirty bucks, where would you be? Exactly. So yeah, yeah you, you need, especially this time of year, Christmas. You know, so that, I can see some people also cheap on that end because it's holidays. Hey, I got a lot of shopping to do. I can't. Then you shouldn't have went out to eat or drink whatever yeah, it is. Just go you know, home. Yeah, you, you need to factor that shit in. I hate people that are being cheap. And I know Byron is a heavy tipper. <laughs> a little big, bit, yeah. yeah, a little tipper. He's like, What's this? You know, they'll throw in like a. Anywhere from I'm a tipping toddler. Yeah, uh, anywhere from like forty to eighty percent tip is what he likes to give. So if you ever, it depends on the on the um, on a service. Oh yeah, yeah, if if you if you are a bitch or an asshole, you you'll get what you're worth. You far. always get minimum fifteen percent. Yeah, you still he guaranteed fifteen yeah. percent because it is what it is. Right, he understands it, but I mean, they, all you have to do is just that extra level of nice for Byron, and boom. Oh yeah, they, he'll he'll blow up that tip. Load up the, the drinks. 
yeah. be, be quick at the bar. Now, this is a little secret that many of these millennial assholes don't know. Because oh. you see them, they get a they get a beer for four seventy five, and that whole quarter. That's Ugh. not a tip, people. That's no. what, that's change that they have to give you. Uh, you give a, between a dollar and two dollars per drink. That bartender, and if you tip well and regularly, that bartender is going to jump to help you out. Right. Because he knows they're, that they're gonna you're going to take care of him. You're not the asshole giving him a quarter. Yeah. You know, last call, everybody gets served, and you get this little fucking millennial waving the $5 oh. bill again, and you're, fucking you may not even get served at last call. Oh, you missed it. <laughs> I was here. Oh, yeah. yeah. You, hey, you can take that quarter with you. <laughs> you know, they, going to the, the whole millennial thing, um, you know, there was, what the hell did I see? Uh, there was something I saw. Oh, the the... Hollywood actors, you know, the ones leaving for Canada, not leaving, blah, mm. blah, blah. My whole theory, is celebrities, whether it be Hollywood or athletes or whatever, need to shut their fucking pie hole, okay? Because they they have no business, especially in their business, trying to take the political stance. And I think it's a bad thing to do because, like, if there's a particular actor out there, whoever, athlete, what singer, whatever, that you currently like, but then they take the stance that's completely opposite to what you like, they just lost a fan. They they lost some celebrities have lost a lot of fans because of that. Well, they they were you know, bound to lose them. Uh, it's just if but if they kept their fucking mouth shut, they but we've always had activist stars. celebrities. Yeah, the celebrities. I, I got yeah, activist stars. Yeah, popular people that want to be an activist, but they don't they belong the most in that. Undereducated people doing yeah. that. They're being handled by. Any number of people who are insulating them from reality. Right. Yeah, that's their job. All right, I sent you uh, two of Greg's songs. Okay. But um, I just don't think, you know, they need, they need to put this out of themselves in their own place, you know what I mean? I just don't believe that it's a position for anyone who's a celebrity to be taking. Because, again, their income is really based off of fan base. Right. You know, so an actor who was loved by many on both sides, you know, now really diminished their overall value. You know, not, you know, De Niro's still going to make his fucking, there are some that can get away with it, no doubt. There's some that can get away with it. Because his talent, it will carry. Yeah. Somebody who's who's been in the industry as many years as he has is going to get away with it. But there are some that, uh, who's that, Amy, um, shit. Schumer. Schumer, yeah, thank you. Shit, Schumer. That's the same thing. <laughs> so, right, yeah. Shit, and I went, hey, Schumer. Schumer, right. Her, she has no fucking business taking... Uh, she w- was very voicey about it. She was one, I'm going to go to Canada, blah, blah, blah. I know, but well, she's, that, she, she also camps, complains you know. when people make fun of her. Yeah, but... you know, And you know who she reminds me of. But... Well, I'll, we'll talk... You know, don- donkey Punch. Oh. There we go. That's Anyone familiar with the Donkey Punch? Byron, why don't you explain a Donkey Punch? Oh, God. Here Come on. Go. All right. So... I I only know about this is because I have some friends who are rather disturbing. Uh, donkey punch is when you're. I'm trying to put it delicately here. Okay, so you're you're having sex in the doggy position, yeah. and just before the male orgasms, and the females getting close to the back of the head, go oh, punch right to the back of the head. <laughs> You uh, can shout e as you're doing it, but it's really rude to do thank that. You. Thank you. you no, that's good. I'll, I'll, you know, I'm I'm up for Bear. any kind of thing. Oh. That's uh, that's uh, Bumpa's cheap uh, car thing there that he's got behind him. Yeah, hey, that's my. Uh, I, I see that that worked really well on the car. I bet you that whole thing just wavered. Oh, back. Like, every, oh, every time oh, I hit, oh. well, it was my cell phone. And every time I hit a bump, I yeah, that thing, fucking yeah. thing would be flying across the front of me. Yeah, it was going to be more of an injury. Yeah, but it came, it came in handy, like if I was driving down the road and wanted to and going straight over. And wa- yeah, but if I wanted to watch a video, like I shouldn't, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking to get a uh, one of the unlock systems for my car. Oh, like, Jesus! Uh, what, what do you want that for? You know? Um, oh, why? So I can watch a movie while I'm riding down the street. Oh. Dude, I got an 8-inch screen. Oh, I know. You dashboard. had that before. Yeah, I did. I love it. Oh, you needed that. I, I Down on the Cape? You go down there on the weekend? 
Forget it. You're driving for hours and hours. And I watched just sitting on I watched on Scar- or- Scarface. Yeah, on six, and I'm just like, <laughs> huh. you're looking for me. I'm looking for you. Yeah. Oh, oh. And then you look up and see there's like you know half mile oh, of shit. open space. So, you know, <laughs> and I make that noise that I love. Oh, oh. oh. I do love that noise. Oh, there you go. She's tugging over there. Yeah, buddy. But, I mean, Allie, what are your two cents on celebrities taking positions on politics? I think if they know what the fuck they're talking about and really want to make a change, then why not? They're people just like everybody else. Right, but like all these, referring to all the ones that, you know, if Trump wins, I'm moving to Canada. So fucking move to Canada. Right, but they're they're not. Now they're all like recanting all... Oh, yeah, like like Kanye West is all buddy fucking buddy with Trump now. That's what I think, you know. Well, because Trump's his president now, and he's like, ooh, maybe this will boost my career. Right. But I think also they don't... after he gets out of the psych ward. (laughs) (laughs) But it does really kill the credibility, though, when they do something like that, too. Mm -hmm. You know, as far as say... um, Nope, I'll never work here again or something like that. Um, oh, smarty. So their, their credibility is shit anyways, so. Yeah, oh, I can right. just see it now. You go to pull that up. Yeah, I'll go over there. All, all my fucking all keyboard and shit. Right, so um, we get any comments on uh, on Spreaker? Here? Oh, let's see. Uh, we We're still on the air. <laughs> right? Are we still there? Oh, late night with Ed. I love Jimmy Conway. Good fellas. Yep. Robert De Niro, not so much. Robert Roberti. Roberto. Huh. Roberto. Uh, I have a friend. Who has this friend? <laughs> I have a friend who has this friend. Probably. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Look at, um, I'm yeah. trying to think of uh, some other idiot stars that are out there. Uh, Sting, back in the day when he started doing the whole rainforest thing. and uh, It all kind of started in the 80s, uh, uh, celebrity activism. Uh, the To segue into what I'm watching, yeah, yeah. what I'm watching on TV lately. Uh, and uh, I'm sure that you guys may be watching it or heard of it. The Leah Remy, uh, Remini? Not yet. I will be, though. I'll catch up on Fucking that. fantastic. Yeah. I am Debunking very Scientology, in going around and showing everybody what yeah. it's all about. Holy crap, is that a good show. And, you know, it's fucked it up really, because, you know, the, some of the... Show? uh Leah Remini with the, the, the Scientology thing on A&E oh. Network. Yeah. No, I didn't see that. Fucking fantastic. She just... I don't have cable. The last picture, the last episode was about uh, Miscavige, who is the Pope yeah. of Scientology. All, and, all based off of a fucking what an author wrote. Uh, right? Actually, it's it, he is the uh, he holds the Guinness Book of World Records for uh, published books. L. Ron Hubbard, or as they like to call him, L. R. H. And the the stuff that they have, the Sea Org. You sign up for a billion year contract. Oh yeah, it's just so out there. It, well, yeah, but what do you have to do to? I mean, how, how much you? How much do people have to pay to be part of this? Roughly, uh, your average person around two hundred and fifty thousand to a half a million. That you would contribute to for because the church, but, or whatever. But the part, the whole thing is, is you are uh, supposed to purchase books. Uh, and uh, audio tapes of of uh, Hubbard speaking. Yeah, and you're supposed to read all these things. Now, the richer you are, the more often you have to buy these books, and then you're encouraged to buy whole packages of these books. Yeah, and ship them off to libraries all over the world. See now, Ali, that that's how you become a very successful author. You create a religion based yeah. off of your own books, and suck everyone into buying your books. To be able to follow whatever church you call it, and to follow it properly, they would have to buy. Who said I wanted to start an? I'm church? just trying to save money wise. You know, I'm not saying you would, but you, you talk about writing books before, and um, you know, which I think you'd be very good at. I'm just saying that if you wanted to sucker people into making a fortune, that's Scientology how you is making a fortune. I still can't believe people are are feeding into this shit. Well, you got uh, Tom Cruise. Is a Tom Cruise is the poster avid boy. member. Yeah, uh, uh, you're not seeing John Travolta. Um, Travolta that much. No, ever since his son died. His, well, there's his, that, and he's had some. Uh, well, I'm sure he had, sketchy background shit going on. Yeah, I'm sure his his uh, he's a he's a little different than the average uh, member. But he did um he did the Hubbard movie uh, Battlefield Earth. 
Oh, that okay. was L. Ron Hubbard. Um, I, you know, I haven't read any of his stuff. Nothing sucks me into it, though. I mean, as far as like, well, you have to. Is it, what? Have the to only be- thing I can imagine is it's people who have a deep-seated need to belong. I guess. And this, the way that they've described it in this show, the way that they've described it is typical cult activity. Where people are saying, oh, no, it's great, come on in, and you feel welcome, you feel warm, and people are helping you out. And you can get that with real friends <laughs> and not have to pay a half a million dollars. Yeah, but that'd be too easy, you know? No. Well. I'm sending you um, the song that Greg would like us to play. Okay. It's a different one than what I sent you, so right. it's the last one. All right, got it. Oh. But we get a... Um, uh, oh, another thing that uh, I had seen today, Rogue One. How was it? <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. I well, what did you dislike of it? Anything dislike? Um, hmm. It was, uh, it was, for someone who had never seen any other Star Wars movie, you could watch it and, uh, you know, like understand it. what yeah. was going on. Uh a lot of things you're you're probably never going to notice all the dead people that are acting in the movie. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, it's kind of a spoil, spoiler alert here. There are a lot of dead characters in there. Oh, who, who are brought back uh be, uh the actors themselves are dead. <laughs> uh with uh, CGI and they did an amazing job doing that. Um and uh I it was uh, all in all a, a well done movie. Uh, the special effects, the acting, the story was good, uh, and it looks like they're setting up for a long haul of a bunch of other sequels to make it kind of a serialized kind of thing. Yeah, uh, from what I can tell, anyways, uh, the, 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 because this one takes place uh, between. The last of the prequel movies, you know those buckets of shit that they trawled out <laughs> in the yeah. one, two, and three, and and Star Wars, the one back from the seventies. Yeah. Uh, this takes place just before it tells the story of of when they build the Death Star and uh, the weakness and all this stuff, uh, which kind of they they kind of explain the point of you know they have all these millions and billions of people working on this project. And they have this little, you know, one torpedo could destroy the entire fucking thing in, in Star Wars, which was kind of a plot hole. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it, it, it came out pretty good. I'd highly recommend it. I'd, I'd recommend seeing it in 3D. Yeah. And if you can, in one of those theaters where they got the electric reclining chairs. And uh, <laughs> but uh, I got stuck beside a guy who, who shat himself during the show. I'm just sitting there eating my popcorn and I'm like, I look over. The person to my left, I knew, didn't shit themselves. The person to the right, he smelled dirty to begin with. Kids, a typical 20 something year old kid. Oh, uh, yeah. Showers Stay, once or twice has, a week. Yeah, hasn't washed his clothes in a month. And that shit. And oh. you could smell the, the filth from his pants. Yeah. And then he's just doing his these SBDs. <laughs> Silent but deadly. It's just the entire fucking. Sh- I like. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, threw some popcorn on the floor. It was it was f- awful. And then he gets up at the end of the movie, brr, darts right out of there. He must have had to take a shit so bad because he, he left the chair still reclined. And I'm like, what the fuck? fucking dirty bastard? Oh god, it was it was awful. The entire like second half of the movie was just ruined by gas. <laughs> Hey, uh-huh. Cooper, what's up, buddy? Oh, some... I love going to the movies, but I have such a hard time staying awake. I feel like uh, I'm going to be oh, right up on the mic. Oh, my God. Oh. You would have passed completely out. This is No, I passed out in the fucking the one before that one. <laughs> you, But this movie theater? Five minutes into the goddamn thing. This movie theater has has uh, that I went to has these buttons on the chair, and they're big, huge, like, leather oh, couch fine. chairs. And they recline all the way back. Yeah, I would definitely pass that. Yeah. Out. <laughs> Before opening credits, <laughs> <laughs> well, 
What the? I don't know. It. I. I have contributed that to my sugar intake. Like, if I eat, no, I'm. I'm dead serious. Well, if I eat you, sugar, it makes me crash and I pass the fuck out. So I can't eat candy when I go to a movie theater. Well, just keep eating it. <laughs> No, yeah. well, I pass out. I'll fall asleep with well, shit in Starbucks. my mouth. They have a Starbucks there. My problem is, is I had to hit the bar beforehand. Get yeah, and what's a coffee? Loaded. 25 bucks? <laughs> you might have to take out a car loan for, for yeah. the, you know. But I can sell my soul. That's, that's part of the, uh, the, 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 the American movie <laughs> industry. What's wrong with selling your soul? As long as you sell it for the right price. I mean, I my remember. soul's not for sale. What's the right price? There is no price no? on my soul. I remember as a child going into the movie theaters, and my mom used to smuggle in snacks first. So she used to air pop popcorn, which, when in the seventies, was the worst. Jiffy popcorn. pop. Jiffy pop. Jiffy was pop good. was the best. Jiffy pop was, but air popped popcorn. I used to get so excited. Was awful. I used to be yeah. like, "Yay, we're doing Jiffy pop tonight! Yay! Yeah. Can I shake it, Mom? Can I shake it?" Oh yeah, we were all about <laughs> that. But when you go into the movies and you're getting, and my mom had made these. You know, plastic bags for each of us. <laughs> and I'm like, my, I can't I, spend money. I want some sweeter fish. No. I, I want something to drink. No. There's a bubbler. Go go, go to the bubbler. The bubbler. I was the bubbler. Go to the bubbler. Those of you who don't know what a bubbler is, it's water a fountain. water fountain. Out here, we call it the bubbler. And I remember it's like, back uh, in the- soda pop, tonic. <coughs> tonic. Tonic was really the. That's why I grew up with. As far as my, I think that's what my mother grew up with. Tonic, you know, they call it tonic, yeah, soda. Yeah. It's kind of um, it's kind of a location thing too. Yeah. Uh, the kids that I grew up with. Oh fucker! Cooper, the cat is oh, no. at it again with the. <laughs> the, the attack oh. cat. <laughs> the attack <laughs> cat. <laughs> Get the point. Get the point. Oh, they're gonna fight. He's, got, he's literally going to duke it out with his cat. Oh, he's going to win because they're going to throw him in the bathroom. <laughs> oh. uh, it, uh, uh, but my friends who, who I grew up with, they were from Chelsea, and they had tonic. Ah. They had tonic. Yeah. Chelsea. We had soda. And pop. Well, that was the kids from the 413 yeah. in Vermont. Yeah, soda pop. They, came, they had pop. Yeah. And we looked at all the kids going, we're going to have pop. And I'm like... You're gonna a get a fucking pop punch in the mouth. <laughs> what the fuck? I remember the first time I heard that. I got a pop, oh, no, tonic. What the weird fuck tonic. It tonic. I, I remember. To, it was the weird tonic. Yeah. Is how they say it. In, yeah. in ch- tonic. Yeah. In, in Jersey, they say water. They say water. 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 That ain't the water. They add ours. Yeah. I they saw. Do. I saw a dog in half. What? <laughs> I mean, come on. Um. Can we go back. Uh, that Teresa was saying that we were talking about um oh shit I forget what it was oh that's a brain fart yeah it was a brain fart complete brain fart <laughs> anyway I gra- one of our performers here Greg Savoy says Star Wars sucks I guess, not, I guess it makes you not a fan uh, Allie's vaping Allie is beautiful and I fell in the water erp okay there you go erp alright Greg Choke yeah. the huh? yeah. <laughs> Oh, you're, you're gonna you're gonna make Allie blush. No, and she's definitely not in a blushing mood tonight. I don't think. Oh, no. 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 All right. She's like, I'm awake. I'm here. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. Yeah. More, more or less. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Just want to get. For well, whatever reason, this thing well, that to took forever to come comments. Out. What? Oh, kitty cat? Nah, it was a little yay. Oh. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I mean, you know, there's, is there, could you put a price in your soul? Huh? Would you, you ever see like, uh, oh, what's that? Oh, God, you devil. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. George Burns. I like that. It had the Plymouth laser in it. The black Plymouth laser yeah. with the red interior. I like that car. Yeah. Now, given that type of situation, right, what, could you put on a price? For yourself, to, to if you could to have it all, type thing. There's a downside to everything. Yep, exactly. You know, and I'm always looking for the downside. Well, the first thing you guys, the guys say, well, you probably you take your soul at probably a certain age, you know, so you could live life great, and then boom, oh, you're gonna be 55 tomorrow. That's the day you. Uh, It'd have to be uh, something that I'd really. You could live like, like a rock star. Slash Hugh Hefner. See, the thing is, 
the things that I would ask her, I'd, I'd be able to live forever and be healthy and not and never have to want for anything. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much then you're not getting my soul because I'm living forever. <laughs> you know, little loopholes I look for. <laughs> yeah. Allie, how about you? Did you put any... Uh, Say that again. Any um, well, she already price said on your soul? Yeah, I know, but uh, not, nothing would convince you to like, give, sell my your soul, soul to the devil? My soul is mine, and you I don't never, believe in the devil. You, but you would never give it up for something better? There is nothing better than if, my soul. Okay. My soul is who I am. If I gave up my soul or sold my soul, then I'm selling myself. That makes you a fucking whore. I'm not selling myself. <laughs> okay. I know, I didn't really look at it that way, but yeah, you're right, you whore. <laughs> Think about it, you're a fucking whore. You're a fucking whore. Anyone else here who would sell their soul to like that for the better? <laughs> but fuck yourself, you fucking dirty, filthy, rotten horse. Um, <laughs> I, <laughs> you said horse, I had chicken. Okay, that's all. <laughs> Sorry. I do want to mention, um, oh, I saw something. There was uh, a book. And I, I didn't read the book yet, but the name of it has me intrigued. The Curious Case of the Constipated Cat. <laughs> <laughs> hey, a constipated cat is no joke. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, by written by a guy named Barry Lawrence, uh, currently or formerly a uh, a dentist, British dentist, and he, some other books too. Um, but I just saw that it, the title was hilarious. And I, I have to look up more. I, I looked him up. Uh, he's got a, uh, a Twitter page as well as a, you know, a uh, website. And apparently he's pretty hilarious. He's got a good sense of humor. Um, so I want to check that out. But I just had to bring bring that up. All right. Well, yeah. Barry Lawrence. B-A-R-R-I-E. Lawrence. Barry Lawrence. Remember that name? Someday he's going to be wicked famous. Yeah, he probably already is. I don't know. He's got like 17,000 followers. Well, well, I guess he's writing goofy children books. You know? Hey, you know, all the constipated cat. You know? <laughs> all right, I did laugh at that again. <laughs> uh, and yeah, I did bring up... Uh, and no, Greg, I am not a whore, so you can go fuck yourself for that comment. Oh, oh hey now. Oh, uh, uh, Big episode. Diesel, a good book is Constipated Cat Meets Diarrhea Dog. Oh, <laughs> no, it's, uh, oh, what was that movie? When you're sliding the first, feel something burst, diarrhea. Oh, when, when you're sliding, sliding into down home, home and, and your boot. pants are full of foam, diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> when you're sliding down a log, and I, oh, that was rupture. Sorry. <laughs> when you're sliding down a log and your, 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 your deck hits a, a I forget. It is. Oh my God, Byron! Hey, you are. <laughs> when you're sliding into third, and your pants are full of turd diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you people! There's something wrong with all of you. Oh, oh. wait a minute! I just found something here. Uh oh, what you got? Any good? Oh my goodness! Right, I'm just going top to bottom. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah. Diarrhea song. <laughs> <laughs> is that from Take Parenthood? Off. I don't know. That might There's been, a yeah, movie, Parenthood, so. That's with right. Steve, uh, Steve, Steve Martin. Yeah. Diarrhea. 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 When you want to drop a juice, but instead it's chocolate loose. Diarrhea. <laughs> Diarrhea. <laughs> when you're playing with a monkey and you're feeling something chunky. Diarrhea. <laughs> Diarrhea. <laughs> when you're hanging upside down and your face is turning brown. Diarrhea. <laughs> Diarrhea. <laughs> when you're in the middle of the shower and you feel the anal power. <laughs> <laughs> and you feel that anal power. Diarrhea. Oh. You weed and feed your grass with liquid fertilized ass. Diarrhea. <laughs> Diarrhea. It says it's like a horn that your butt pops like some corn. Diarrhea. <laughs> oh, Diarrhea. God. Put my finger in your butt and throw the finger. Diarrhea. <laughs> Diarrhea. When your stomach starts to rolling and you're cleaning out your colon. Diarrhea. <laughs> Diarrhea. You're eating toast with strudels and it's squirting out like noodles. Diarrhea. <laughs> Diarrhea. When your stomach's feeling wavy, but your make your butt's making anal gravy. Diarrhea. Anal gravy. Diarrhea. That's fucking gross. When you're cutting up your bed and you feel that poopoo's bed. Diarrhea. Wow. Diarrhea. What you what? What you thought was just a fart made your pants a work of art. Diarrhea. <laughs> Diarrhea. When you're shopping at the store and it's dripping on the floor. Diarrhea. Oh. Diarrhea. When you think it's called poop, but it feels like chunky soup. Diarrhea. <laughs> 
Joking, but your pants are brown and silken. Oh. Uh, You've just eaten a wiener and your shit's a little greener. Diarrhea. <laughs> 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 when you're eating some Chinese and your F begins to sneeze. Diarrhea. Diarrhea. When you're eating frosted flakes and you're bubbling rectum quakes. Diarrhea. Diarrhea. When you're swimming in a pool and you're leaving a trail of stool. Diarrhea. Diarrhea. You're acting like a fool and your pants fill up with stool. Diarrhea. <laughs> diarrhea. When you're sliding into home and you feel a burst of foam. Diarrhea. <laughs> diarrhea. The burst of foam. You don't feel foam. like a winner when your butt will out your dinner. Diarrhea. <laughs> diarrhea. 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 Let me play just a little bit of this. This is an old guy doing this one here. The diarrhea song. When you're riding in your sleigh, hear some spray diarrhea. When you're climbing up a mountain, your butt becomes a fountain diarrhea. When you're driving in your car, your house is just too far diarrhea. <laughs> I guess there's a lot of variations to this song. Wow. <laughs> You're making chocolate rain. You love diarrhea. This is just... Uh, oh, these people are... Uh, creative. Yeah. Huh. Oh. All right, so you dog owners. What about it? You walk around with warm dog shit in your hand, don't you? No. Nope. Well. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah. People going oh. around the fucking bag. It's in their hand. Gotta... Oh. No, uh. I do not. You know why? Because my dog is awesome and does not <laughs> shit. <laughs> he will not shit in my backyard. It's very, very small backyard. He will not shit in my backyard. I take him to a cemetery. He will not shit out in the open. He always That's goes. Good. He'll go. He somewhere. always goes in the tree line or in the woods. When we're walking on the path in the woods, he goes off the path and will go in the woods. He never goes anywhere people walk. But what about the little kid that goes off the path? <laughs> no, I mean, he goes way up off the path. <laughs> little kids go way, way off the oh, path. Yeah. Stop of course reaching. you would think Stop that. reaching, Byron. My dog is a good dog. <laughs> he shits in good places, okay? Oh. I get um. Uh, it's just kind of disturbing th- the thought of walking. You see these people walking down the street with a handful of crap. Diarrhea. 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 <laughs> oh. <laughs> well done. You're listening to the Wicked Pisses Show. If you're not listening to us, you don't know what the fuck you're missing. All right, with that, I think we should take out a quick break. I want to bring up uh, that song uh, that you that Greg wanted us to play. This could be by Greg Savoy. Uh, the song is called Piece of Wood. Allie, anything else you want to add to this? No. Nope. Okay. So let's see. Uh, i go right to the link on this. So uh, our microphones will not be muted, folks. Uh, maybe. Uh, we'll see. We'll play it by ear. <laughs> <laughs> we'll try not to Can't talk about me. anybody bad while <laughs> <laughs> no, no shit talking during the song. <clears throat> All right, gotta get rid of these smarties. Okay. Yeah.
can rip out your ears Or play you something sweet that is sure to bring tears No matter what I play, no matter how good The only thing I need is a piece of wood And that was Piece of Wood by Greg Savoy. Uh, Some of you may have heard an echo at the beginning. I had to mute on mics. I think it was double feeding. Uh, But I think it was all right on Spreaker. Um, I didn't say they could hear it. I didn't hear any complaints, so I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure what source the complainant was listening to. But... Probably Facebook. It could have been Facebook. And again, if it's Facebook, I do apologize. I can't do much about Facebook. Uh, you know, We're even lucky to be on it. Yeah. So, Facebook Live. I mean, we could do Facebook Live from our, uh, our phone. Probably better than uh, what the laptop could do. Uh, but it is what it is. Uh, Allie stepped out. She'll be back in a moment. Yeah, that uh, during that uh, the song, I got a uh, message from McPeg. Oh, and uh, it's uh, it's it's an interesting little thing. Thirty three things that were originally called something completely different. Oh, well, do share. Oh yeah, Hannah Montana was originally called Alexis Texas. Oh shit! Yeah. Candy corn was originally called chicken feed. <laughs> that kind of weird. The Powerpuff Girls, who <laughs> were originally called the Whoop Ass Girls. The Whoop Ass Girls. How do you change that to. <clears throat> well, I, guess, I guess it's marketing wise, yeah. It yeah, sell. well, Whoop Ass yeah. Girls. You don't want little kids walking around going, Whoop Ass, Whoop Ass. Because yeah. kids repeat everything. Uh, just quickly, a big diesel said it sounded good. Ah, right. So uh, it made, for those that heard uh, Echo at the beginning of May, because our microphones were still on, uh, I didn't think it would work without it. Then I shut it off and it looked good, so. Uh, continue. What else you got? All right. Well, more back to the uh, the original names of things. Uh, John Steinbeck. He wrote uh, "Mice of Mice and Men." Yep. That one was originally called something that happened. Really? Yeah. That's a hell of a change. Kind of. I don't think it would have been as successful. Uh, SpongeBob. Oh God. Originally called SpongeBoy. <laughs> Another reason behind that is they uh, they couldn't get. They couldn't use that name because the name was under copyright already by a mop company. <laughs> so, uh, uh, Van Morrison's Brown Eyed Girl. Yeah. Originally called Brown Skinned Girl. Ooh. Yeah. Not, you know. That sounds racist. Yeah. Well, he, he said the uh, original title was a mistake. Uh, he told Belfast Telegraph that it was just a mistake. It was kind of a... Just, was it just a title mistake, it or was, was there any song variation? Kind of a Jamaican song, Calypso. It just uh, kind of slipped his mind, and uh, right. he changed the title. Wow, that would have that been funny. And on to even weirder, Q-Tips. Uh-oh. I knew this one, too, which yeah. is kind of fucked up. They used to be called Baby Gays. Really? The Q was added to mean quality. Oh, uh, pine cones, yeah, originally called pineapples. Uh, back when they discovered pine, uh, pineapples uh, in the Americas, which are pine cones, uh, they called them pineapples because they looked like pine cones. Oh no, they called pineapples pineapples. Uh, that one kind of sucked. <laughs> uh, Coldplay. 
the band. Yep. Originally called Starfish. Wow. Yeah. Heck of a difference. Don't think that they would have been as popular. But, uh, yeah, I'm very surprised. With that brown skin girl. Yeah, right? That's just a little weird. That's a good tune. Wait, let's see. Right, yeah. I'm wait for it to come up. It is kind of too I, I want you to say brown skin girl. Right. Girl. Yeah, that was. Yeah. Oh man, that would be like the the KKK's like theme song much, if that was, yeah. that was awful. Oh, yeah. How about uh, how about we do change. the millennial song? Can we do that? We could do the millennial song. Sure. I would really like to hear. Absolutely. I can. We get to turn that, my yeah. mic up a little bit so that I don't feel like I have to be right up on it. Oh, your mic is okay. Please. I think yeah, the mic. Maybe no, our headset. No, because I've been I've been going like this the whole show. You know I what know, I mean? But, no, <laughs> but I'm you, talking. I'm not yelling. I think yeah, yeah. Well, I'll turn I'd up like a little to be able bit, to but... sit back a little bit, you know, instead of being, you know, swallowing the fucking microphone. I'm like, what do we got? What do we all have to be about four or five inches from yep. it. Yeah, it's... Yeah. Yeah. All right, uh, Maroon 5. Yep. Originally called Kara's Flowers. Oh. You're thinking that's not really good. You would like this one. Snapchat. Oh, God. Pick the boo. <laughs> oh, there you go. I, I can see where know, that one's going. They've they got the ghost. Yeah. Know? But uh, uh, Google, I knew this one too. You remember what it was actually called? What? Back rub. <laughs> Makes no sense. It was a secret project I, it, that, that they called. But, uh, Mickey Mouse. Yeah. You must know the original name of Mickey Mouse. Come on now. Come on now. Oh. You know it. You've heard it. Uh, Allie? Uh, Mickey Rat? I don't know. I can't find Mortimer. It. Mortimer. Yeah. Mortimer. Uh, Walt Disney's wife hated the name, so he changed it. <laughs> um, let's see. Softball, originally called Kitten Ball. Kitten Ball. Kitten Ball. Huh. What, they used to roll up kittens and belt, well, them, yeah, belt them with a metal bat? Have you ever played, um, like, a Chicago style softball? No. It's. I remember you used to play softball. Yeah, it's softball, but it was uh, slightly bigger than a softball. It was actually like a almost like a padded ball, and you know it, they call it Chicago style because apparently out there they play with no gloves. So you played it. That's fucked up. Well, it's a very padded ball, so you didn't need gloves. You know, you use a regular softball bat, you know, belt of the thing, but you could catch it barehanded without breaking your fingers or uh-huh. you know. You're looking, you see the look in my eye right here? <laughs> yeah, that is the, uh, yeah, fuck you. I know. Give me the glove. <laughs> oh, so the glove's not going to stop it from bouncing off your fucking head or whatever. But well, it's now so gonna, you're going to get a better grip on it. Uh, you know, maybe some of our boys out in Illinois can shed some light on that, but I, I'm pretty sure I'm right because i played it several times myself. Uh, it is fun. It's fun not to have to, you know, you don't have to worry about the glove, which makes it open for anyone to play. You know, it's a great pickup game. Nobody needs to go home and get their glove or I whatever. Hate pick up games. You know, <laughs> yeah, I always get stuck with the fucked up assholes. And you know, like like Rizzo, you were a house cat. You know, there was no like you know. You, no, I just don't like sports. Oh god, but, you know. what is wrong with you? Yahoo. What was that? Jerry's Guide to the World Wide Web. Jerry's Guide to the World Wide Web. Was Jerry like a founder? Uh, it was basically just a collection of the guy named Jerry's favorite links and golf scores. Hmm. That was when I first Talk heard. about building upon something, huh? You must know, and I knew this one too. Uh, the, the the original name of Pepsi. Yeah, it was Brad's drink. Huh. Uh, originally, after Caleb Bradham, who started selling it in his drugstore, it was renamed Pepsi Cola after the word dyspepsia, because uh, Brad uh, Bradham claimed it was a healthy drink. Dyspepsia means yeah, indigestion. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Healthy drink. It might have been originally. Well, they all were. Pepto they all were. Bismol. What? It, yep. <laughs> yeah. Dyspepsia. Yeah. Pe- and then the. Uh, Pepto. Uh, oh, the Spice Girls were okay. at first called Touch. I could see that. And originally there was another member by the name of Michelle. You keep on touching things. <laughs> uh, cotton candy. Yeah. It was originally called Fairy Floss. <laughs> uh, it made its uh, debut in St. Louis at the World Fair in 1904. Started being referred to as cotton candy in the t- in the 20s. I cotton candy once. Hated it. Uh, yeah. 
It's just too fucking weird. Oh. Allie, you like cotton candy? I love cotton candy. Oh. I had uh, bacon flavor cotton candy. I eat candy. it and then I go to sleep. That's the weirdest thing. Most people get a sugar rush, they don't. Yeah, it usually makes you yeah, off the walls. Uh, the White House was at one time called, and I knew this one because I watch a lot of History Channel, the Presidential Palace. Oh, there's a change. Yeah. Well, they, they, uh, that was when Washington, they were talking about what they were going to name the, the president, the king, or the, and he said, no, there's no king in America. And, uh, the movie Pretty Woman was at first titled 3000. 3,000? Yeah, a little oh, that, like, that might have been like what the... Could uh, have been a working picture title. 3,000, how much they, they get you was originally going to pay? Yeah, it could be. Right. Uh, Clifford, the big red dog? Yeah. Take a wild guess what he was originally big called. Big red dog. No, tiny. Tiny. Because uh, he's a big red dog. Oh. Uh, Buzz Lightyear. Oh, boy. What was that? Originally named Lunar Larry. Ah. Buzz Lightyear is better. Uh, yeah, oh, definitely. Uh, Best Buy. Originally named Sound of Music. That I know, yeah. That really? was the original store with that name. Sound of Music. <sighs> oh, yeah. Is this one? Uh, yeah, all for our co host. That's Roy Orbison. then. All right. Oh, this one is kind of funny. We'll get to that. Go. Limp Biscuit. Oh, was boy. it one time called Blood Fart? <laughs> nice. I think they'd still be around today if they were called Blood Fart. Yeah. I'll tell you the truth. Oh, this fucking computer. Everybody hated Fred Durst for some reason. Yeah, he was a little bit of a douchebag, but I yeah. thought I thought their music. I'll was do good. it. Well, I have the um, the song to Millennials, not the video, because the video kind of skips a bit. I need the words. It's not karaoke night. I'm not saying that. I want the words for myself. <laughs> ah. Oh, fucking! I might, I might right. have, I might have them down by hold now. Hold on, hold on. I might have them down by now. Oh, I can see All it right, right now. We crash. Uh, oh, oh, hey. You don't have to do the video. Ding, 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 ding. He believes that he has no job, but in 30 he will be a millionaire. M-I-L-L-E-N-N-I-A Got a millennial M-I-L-L-E-N-N-I-A She posts lots of selfies on her Instagram with the quotes of inspiration. No, she changed the world while wearing yoga pants. Hermla of essential oils. M I L L E N N I A L God of millennials. No. M I L L E N N I A L God of the millennials. No. In a cup of trying to make it on. Maybe stop by leaving your parents' home. Maybe we're just wrong. Ha 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 ha. The system isn't easy for their ears. They feel like they know most everything. They do up with undeserved confidence. And they got trophies just for participating. M I L L E N N I A L G A L in a couple of years, we will have to pass the torch. In a couple of years, they will be in charge. And one will be our president. Ha 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 ha. Oh, fuck. M I L L E 
L E N N I A L God I love millennials Hell no M I L L E N N I A Help Please pray for millennials Hell no <laughs> And that was Allie's rendition of... <laughs> nice try. <laughs> uh, I don't care, even if it was. Hey, you're getting you a did the pass, first time. So. Yeah, the first you time was... Oh, yeah. you know? Thank God I had the words oh, that yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah. I was the like, best, are you the best fucking part, kidding me? <laughs> the best part is not even the words. It's that you get a hole, you trumpet and shit, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you got that down pat. That is fucking great. Okay. And they both look at me when that part's coming up. <laughs> <laughs> Just waiting for it. <laughs> waiting oh. for me to do uh, it, yeah. Oh, shit. I gotta get an ottoman over here. Oh, you're just going to fucking go take a nap over yeah, there? No, you? I'm just going to relax. Oh, uh, And here on this image, we have uh, Byron's uh, beer of choice, the Angry Orchard, uh, uh, crisp apple. She was supposed to come from over here, but... Yeah. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> Ass backwards. <laughs> But yeah, I was still working on some updates. See, we, we had some technical mm-hmm. issues like earlier. Like my background. <laughs> hey, look at that. We, we had some technical issues earlier, so uh, we had Uh-oh. to have this sign right here. Don't forget to turn on mute. So, this is a little look at behind the scenes. Well, the thing is, a lot, a lot of people don't realize is that the There's sound, little- the sound, then connects to the computer, which you know, it's two different worlds because we always hear each other. And we we all almost always hear each other, hear all the audio and stuff playing, and unfortunately, a lot of times it's hard to tell whether or not it's playing online, to you know, Spreaker or Facebook or YouTube. When we someday we'll go back to that, um, I will. Yeah, well, we'll see what happens. I'll try to. Uh, I think we should just do what we used to do and just put the uh, put the audio from Spreaker on it. Yeah, we'll do that. I don't know if we could do the Facebook. I, don't, I could try doing a Facebook video to YouTube. But do you save a copy of it? I haven't been because I think that war helps. Because I the see problem. <laughs> I see um, our friends over at, uh, at Black Dog Radio Show. They get dinged every once in a while when they play a copywritten tune. Yeah, well, yeah, we mm-hmm. we did on one or two shows. We did you know just playing. All you gotta do is play like I swear fifteen twenty seconds of yeah. something, and then boom, copyright. And there was something we got bumped, even though we had the rights to it. You know, like uh, the Nick Wells, uh, some other things that... Yeah, that's what pisses me off about... uh, Now, Google owns YouTube. Well, they've owned them for a while. But they're getting more invasive and into your shit. Well, what I found, what I noticed, it's not... It's not YouTube itself. It's there's a company, there's different companies out there. One, like, I think, CD Baby. But these companies that the artists might work with or sell their music on through whatever. Well, they have monitors. They monitor, yeah. right. And so as soon as you play something that is one of their customers or something, it pops up, then they notify the artist or whatever. You know, so there, there's no, you don't get shut off or anything unless if that. Yeah, you get a notice. Yeah, you get a notice. It'll say, you know, you're not in trouble or anything, but it's just to let you know an artist has claimed the copyright or something like that. So I'm not worried about it because, like I said, we usually have permission. I'd send them back an email. Hey, fuck you. We're the Wicked Pisser Show. We got a a fucking Wicked Pisser letter from them, okay? You fucking fuck. Hey, fuck you. Yeah. It's a fucking fucking Wicked Pisser. Come on. You know what? We're back. I have DSL. Yeah. Because I have I have uh, Verizon. Yeah. Uh, FiOS. Yeah. Inter- I mean, yeah, Wi-Fi. And I pay $65 a month. Now, Verizon does offer high-speed internet, but not in my area. Yeah. So I'm paying $65 a month for a DSL fucking modem. I do, too. Yep. It sucks. I pay 65 bucks for regular cable. Yeah, but you have good Wi-Fi. Yeah, you, so you have your Wi-Fi is a hundred times better than most. Oh yeah, I DSL have is, I have a DSL. DSL is like twelve megabits. But they're per charging second. me sixty five dollars a month for oh, a DSL. It's yeah. like seriously, that should be only thirty dollars, if that. <laughs> I just want to fucking rig it so I steal some cable from somebody else. <laughs> oh. 
Here used to be, that used to be so yeah, easy no, to do. Yeah, we got internet now. That used to be so easy to do. If you, yeah. if you didn't have cable, just get a three-way splitter. Yeah. <laughs> well, do a lot of people do now is they, uh, you know, like, uh, they'll just find a neighbor and fucking pay the neighbor 10 or 15 bucks a month. And You know, I'm surprised more people aren't doing that nowadays. Yeah. It's kind yeah, of, maybe... Yeah, I didn't think that. This one, this one's for you, buddy. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back. I just said that. Ribs. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back. Ribs. Chili, baby back, ribs. I know, because I had played it, and you guys both chimed on it. Get I had stopped it because we were off the air. So now I wanted to play it. All right, fine. But, well, since you're going to be like that... Boys have a penis, girls have a vagina. So, um, what, do you get any uh, topics? Tits were unbelievable. Oh, man, I love titties, so. <laughs> no, no topics you want to talk about down the drain? Nothing? Well, are we... Maybe a, we're, 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 not, we're, we're not, up. We've oh, been we're connected not. for a few minutes. Mm-hmm. Pay attention, people. I'm a, I'm paying attention. That's what I just said. Well, I wasn't playing it Don't earlier. Don't say people. Don't say people. people because yeah. I heard you when you said it. Oh, okay. But uh, she didn't hear we were going to be on tonight last week. Hey, Bumpa. I was caught. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> came out right at the right <laughs> time. <laughs> I was caught. Right. I didn't remember. Huh. We, I did three shots. Byron did three shots. You did four shots. I don't know how the fuck you remembered. Oh. Hey, I left here. I felt... Nobody yeah. said anything during the week about when the show was. Just how pretty the new studio looked. That was it. <laughs> oh. Well, does anyone have a particular topic they off the out of the gutter, in the gutter, they want to talk about? Masturbation. Uh, Why not? Wow, like come out like that, huh? Oh well, yeah, you, you asked for it, oh. and that's the first will, thing that came to my head. I was going to give the origins of chicken and waffles, but I go for it. Go for that information on that, and we'll go to masturbation. All right. Well, right after we talk about it's going to be we'll kind of depressing and 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 not really cool, but uh, the exact origins are unknown. Although several theories about it exist, that waffles entered American cuisine in the 1600s with European colonists. And the food popularity saw a notable boost after 1789 with Thomas Jefferson's purchase of a waffle iron in France. Uh, it has nothing to do with waffles and chicken. No, you look at a chicken and waffle restaurant. It, it was. They're in the South. I know they are. No, nah, they're, they're in Worcester. They're everywhere now. Uh, they're, yeah. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> wow. Well. Going with it. <laughs> Oh, there you go, the snorts. We got the alley snorts. We got alley snorts. <laughs> Do you know what a snarf is? What? It's when, you, when you're when you snorting and you're drinking and psh, your oh nose comes God. out your nose. You know what a shard is. That shard, I don't know. <sighs> yeah, that guy in a the movie theater did that today. <laughs> <laughs> he just he got up and he didn't even put the seat down. Just Oh, my God. Out. There was this funniest video that I saw on Facebook. It was today, and it was this woman recording her husband. If I forward the video to you, can we at least get the audio? Yeah. Okay. Because it, I was laughing so hard I was crying. He was describing this woman. He was in the store, and he was describing this woman um, that smelled really bad and every time every time he started to talk about it he would gag and he'd gag and like really oh, was so fucking funny please tell me I saved it so I don't have to look for it yes awesome send in messenger I'm psyched I got this shit down pat <laughs> I got it I sent it to you okay but yeah it, that really cracked me up I'm trying to get back onto Facebook Live for the last few. Um, obviously, that extended departure from the internet uh, was made it impossible. Enough to kick us off of everything. Yeah. Hold on a second. Let me I see if I can do that. this. There we go. Right here next well, we, Spreaker yeah. hasn't said anything about being off. It's still What's so flat. What's the smell? 
What? What's new? You stink. <laughs> Spreaker and I'll just stay right up here, to reconnecting over and over and over hmm. until it does connect. Yeah, so we were off, and we went back on once it reconnected. Oh, can't make that shit up. Oh, oh yeah, that okay. guy right there. That was the funniest fucking video. We played that, didn't we? No. no. Oh, then somebody played it at work, and we we were dying laughing. That's when I saw it. That was a good video. Yeah, it's so funny. We wish you guys could see it because the guy is funny too. Yeah, but I mean, we can we can we can have him hear it. Oh yeah, it just cracks me up. He just cannot control it. This is what you got to see. This guy is is an older guy wearing a plaid shirt, and his wife is video. He's video. Wife is videoing him, and he's from the Midwest, so he's kind of, or his his uh, bumper likes to call it Central America. Yep. You want me to play it? No, just give me a second. Mm. Just give him a fucking second. Hey, you know we're on the air. I know that. <laughs> of course I do. <laughs> fucking smart ass. Yes, my ass is smart. <laughs> there we go. A little musical interlude by me. Yeah, that's what we needed. Byron music. Yep. What'd she have with her? Another woman. Another woman. It's, was it her or the other woman that was offensive? They both were, yeah. They both were offensive. It was a They had a smell, or they yeah. just smelled? That was Man, it? Yeah, that was everywhere. It's like this from the... <laughs> what did it smell? <laughs> what did it smell like? <laughs> was it just, like, body odor, like... <laughs> <laughs> Drex subs, or no? He's just <laughs> describing it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or was it, like, like, they hadn't had a bath in a month? More than a month. What? <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> that reminds me of Bumpa and Jackass. <laughs> I'm going to lose it in a minute. Oh. <laughs> it was bad. You didn't recognize it? I went like this. I look at the girl and this woman. She the- hurried up and get her stuff, but she's swooned away. And she can't see the smell. And the girl, I'm like... <laughs> it was I'm like, a- I'm like, I'm like, I don't even put my food down on the thing. I go... <laughs> I had to do it like that. He's was holding his nose. Now? Are they working no. on a farm? No, we were just. She was a wild. You must wallow in there. Shit, piss. Oh, really? <laughs> so maybe they they went to bed. And they're in their same clothes they slept in? Was that it? Not forever. Holy shit. Was oh, it like, to make me sore. A, a, a menstrual now? You know? And did she Get have out a, of here. Did I'm she have a menstrual? <laughs> You're so uh, cool on Facebook. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, they stunk bad. I looked over at the guy and he's, he says he's holding his breath. Another guy over here, the women are. I don't know how you do it. I don't know how that girl, I felt sorry for her. She had to check him out. Oh, the cashier? Oh, I'm gonna puke. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Now, oh, Byron knows I. That's exactly what I would be doing. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Just the thought of it. <laughs> that's so funny. Uh, oh, still maybe cry again. Yeah, that's I'm going to put that on our Facebook page oh, that right is now. funny as shit. There we go. Just posted it. Oh, God. Uh, I want to... I, I think Drunk Brian is listening tonight. I'm not sure. Oh, that was so funny. Uh, Drunk Brian's been sober for a few months. He caught his... I don't know, like... 100th OUI or something like that. They're making a <laughs> bunch of iron lock on his car. And oh. all that. So I, I just wanted to play this because I found this little gem on my YouTube channel. Uh, see if we can... Uh, this it, this was uh, a couple of years back. We went up to uh, my friend Dougie's place in New Hampshire. And 
We had been drinking all afternoon watching Dazed and Confused, kind of a tradition. We'd get up off of the road and get in there and, and down, <laughs> down a case while watching the movie you know. between the three of us. And and Drunk Brian, I, I went to the bathroom and I come back out, and there he is lying on the floor, just on his back. And so, and I was pretty drunk at the moment, so I grabbed a, a camera at the time, and this is what happened. Oh. Hey! Did you get a nap? No. Nope. Uh, oh, I mean, this is. He, he was. Uh, come on. No, it's not going to load. Oh. He's, he, he gets absolutely annihilated, and he'll do stupid things. Yeah, but I, you don't understand. Do I don't you? understand. I, I don't understand how. What he, are you making? Nothing. He accepts. He's, I was going how he accepts being called drunk, drunk Brian. Brian. I mean, it, it, you don't. You never even call out Brian. He's drunk Brian. DB. DB. Drunk Brian. That's oh, all I ever hear you call. The funniest. We were at a bar and he was trying to pick up women and I went, "Hey, DB," and she goes, "Did you? Did he just call you VD?" <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, he kind of. Well, actually, at that bar, uh, DB has a, kind of a intestinal problem. Yeah. So he runs off and disappears into the bathroom. Now, this is an Applebee's somewhere up in northern New Hampshire. And uh, he comes out. He goes, oh, "Don't go in there." <laughs> huh. So we we have a little something to eat and a lot more to drink. And he's trying to pick up these chicks who are who just staggered into the bar. They had been drinking all day too. Oh. And then he just has this look on his face, and he disappears. And a few minutes later, he comes out and he goes, "We gotta get out of here now." I'm like, why? He goes, Did you, we gotta get out of here. I destroyed the bathroom. I'm like, what do you mean? Because uh, the first time I, I clogged up one of the stalls, the second, oh. second time I clogged it up and it started overflowing. And then you see the manager go running by with a mop to the <laughs> to the bathroom with a check, please. <laughs> We got out of there as fast as we could. That uh, is fucking disgusting. I am. He uh, he broke the toilet at the at the house in New Hampshire too. (laughs) The the kid just he does some. Now this is this is him. He he took he sat on a bag of potato chips to open it by accident. Oh god! So he sits down. He hears pop, and the bag goes all over the couch. And he takes out a uh, a hamburger bun and throws some chips on it. So here's. Here's that, the audio of it, anyways. Nothing. Jeez, Alan. All right, so, okay. You gonna have more? Well, you have to sit on them first. You have to sit on the bag. All right, what did you do first? I mean, cheers, Alan. Yeah, but what did you do before you did that? Drunk? Yeah, I know you got drunk, but what did you do before that? Who knows? <laughs> okay. So, we got it. He's barely able to keep his eyes open. Okay, ready? Perfect. It is Alan. Like Ron White from Fox. Who called Charlie? Oh, it is Alan. So, he's eating this thing. Get her done? Sag. Back in. What's the face? Nobody actually knows what he says. Not even him. The last thing was just die. Bar, yeah. bar. He's an acquired taste. He really is. Yeah, apparently, because you know, the nice guy. I'll admit, you know, I've met him many times. I yeah. still, yeah, like you said, acquired taste. That's what. It, that's what a, a, a couple of million dollars right there looks like. Yeah, he was a trust fund baby. Uh, no, that, that explains. Had a lot. the trust fund taken away after five cars in <laughs> one year. <laughs> Destroyed yeah, yeah. them all. Drove down Route Nine the wrong way one time. Yeah. He had a tow company on, on speed dial because he'd drive his car off of the road all the time. They'd show up before the cops would show up. And, God damn it. And he'd always hoof it from there, you know. <laughs> I wasn't driving. Oh. So, uh. So, apparently in Portland, there was a pregnant woman that was attacked by anti Trump protesters. She was actually trying to get to the hospital for an emergency. Um. And they basically beat her. People are still protesting Trump because they can't fucking they grow up. Basically beat her with with a baseball bat. Get a fucking clue, people. He's a, he, a pregnant woman. I mean, come on, seriously. 
in in Portland, a, a man pulled a gun on the crowd of protesters. Oh. They, People just need to fucking get over the fact Trump won, bitches. Uh, no matter what you do, how many people you beat up, shit you burn down. It's not going to change the fact yeah. Trump's going to be president. You know, and like my favorite one now is the whole crying about Russia. Russia hacked us, blah, blah, blah. Uh, yeah, I know. Well, yeah, it, to me, honestly, it doesn't mean any, anything. They, I could give two shits about it. I don't believe it. And, you know, there are many other people say, say the same thing. You can get your point across and not have to be violent about it or disruptive but it, that's the problem these idiots think the only way they can do it is like you said be violent disruptive um do something that really stands out because you know they're, honestly they're pieces of shit and that's what they that's where they're gonna end up you know in a, a book of life or a piece of shit they, but some people just never want to change you know they fucking well, we got some news out of Chicagoland area. Oh, boy. Over the holiday weekend, 50 people were shot and killed. Oh, uh, yeah. 50 fucking people in Chicago. The, that's to why the city it, where handguns are illegal. Yeah, absolutely. yeah but that's why you don't, you don't go to the well south side. See how that's working for them. Yeah, yeah. So you don't want to go to the south you side. You don't go to the south side. You know, uh, you know be cautious of where you go, what you do. Have you guys ever seen this guy here, Terrence Williams? No. This guy, he is fucking hilarious. You know, a oh, lot yeah, of times yeah, he's always eating that, food. Yeah. Well, not always. Um, but there is one I, I wanted to play because uh, it hits right what we're talking about. Uh, it's crashing. Yeah, like, we're going to skip We're gonna skip that part. So I want- Let me go right back. Here we go. What's going on, Facebook? So I forgot my glasses. I should have put my glasses on. But we're gonna skip. We're gonna skip that part. So I want to talk about this. People talking about the Russians has something to do with the election, with the U.S. election. I am sick of getting on the damn. I'm sick of looking at the news, and I'm scrolling. I'm looking for something to talk about. And they say Russian this. I skip it. I don't want to talk about that. Russian this. I'm like, no, nah, I don't want to talk about the Russians. Russian this. I'm like, I don't want to talk about that. Let me skip that. Everything on the everything on the damn news is about the Russians. The Russians did not have nothing to do with the U.S. election. They didn't hack nobody. They didn't hack anything. Okay, leave Vladimir Putin the hell alone. He did not do nothing. Okay, Donald Trump won fair and square. I don't know why they're talking about the Russians had something to do with it. So I'm trying to figure something out. So y'all mad at the Russians talking about they hacked the election? Yeah. Why y'all still talking about the election? It's, it's over oh. with. You know, it's done. It's a done deal. <laughs> Leave the Russians alone. So y'all talking about these Russians? So y'all mad at the Russians because you talking about they hacked somebody? Well, why y'all not mad at the voters who didn't get out there and vote? You know, I'm sick of talking about this election stuff. I'm just done talking about it. I'm tired of people sending me messages. I'm tired of people tagging me and all this election mess. So I just wanted to share that. Uh, yeah. He's got a lot of funny, you know, that, well, just he raised a simple point. A lot of them are fucking hilarious shit. Um, you know, people, oh, this was a good one. Real quick, sorry. My whole career is about to be over for this, probably. I'm about to be in deep trouble for this. I know I am, but I got to say this, though. I think I have come to the conclusion after trying to figure everything out, after being confused, I have figured out something. And I might get in trouble for this. But I'm starting to think that people are testing the police to get a check. I look on the news, all I see is cop shot this person. This person got into it with a cop. Cop this. Person that. Cop that. So I'm starting to think that people are testing the police for a check. Okay? So now... When people getting pulled over, you know, they figure, okay, I'm about to test this officer, you know, get him to hit me, get him to shoot me, get him to bust a window so my family can get a check. Then I'm thinking that sometimes, you know, they end up getting killed. Because then when people do get killed, the family scream justice. They scream all this justice. But all you hear about is money. They don't talk, you know what, they forget about the loved one being killed. 
all they focus on is a million dollar check. You think I'm... No. I, this guy turns... He's a, a black kid out of Chicago, I believe. And... uh you, know, you didn't they, have to say black kid. He's oh, a no, kid I, out of Chicago. I, I, I want to point that out because... I'm sure they can tell by his voice. Whoa. Uh, well, I know. Right? I wouldn't saying, say that. Don't be like racial profiling. You can tell by his voice. <laughs> yeah, well... I don't know. I've, yeah. I've heard it was Rufus, a Rufus T. Jackson. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and no, I, I would say he was a... The reason I bring it up is because he's uh, he is actually pro-Trump, <laughs> and he uh, bashes the welfare workers and the leeches and all that stuff. Um, you know, his most recent one, uh, you can listen to, uh, Terrence Williams. Williams. I'll share it on our page. Um, Late Night with Mr. Ed said, the Russians made me vote for Trump and laugh at the leftist riot and idiots like Jill Stein. How they made may even be responsible for my last child, too. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, those Russians... That- that's the problem right there. That's why, you know, I get I got to buy gas at $2 or whatever a gallon because they're all fucking Russians sucking us right out. $2. Hold on a second. Two ten. Okay, <laughs> 217 Yeah. So, I mean. Off the high rate, it's 235 I was like, fuck. Yeah. I'm just putting five in so I can get home. I'll get to the <laughs> cheap gas <laughs> station. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know someone who would, like, literally do that. Put a, put a dollar or two in until they get to a cheaper station. Mm-hmm. I know. What does this say? Dollar uh, seventy nine. What was that? Was that? I filled up the other day for dollar seventy nine a gallon. Oh. you got to buy your groceries at, uh, at, at oh, a place. Price size. shopper. Yeah. Use a card. Yeah. 50 yeah. cents off I'll a tell gallon. tell the whole fucking story, dude. Don't just go, oh, one seventy nine. Everybody's going to be like, where the fuck is that? Well, I, <laughs> line up. Shopping. Yeah, well, actually, people are lining up. Oh. Yeah, I'd be interested to know. What are you, what are you guys paying out there in Central America? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> out there in the greater Bumpers, Illinois, Central Wisconsin America. area, Minnesota. Jeff, if you're listening tonight, probably working your ass off. Uh, you know, he he did he did a good show the other day, uh, Kyle Pody there. Um, he got into really kind of a Christmas type special. Well, uh, he got into saying, hey, it's okay to say Merry Christmas, all that. Oh, yeah. You know, Absolutely. And, yeah. You know, and there, you know, we all have Jewish friends who accept that. You know, I think it's. I, you know, and hey, they say I, Happy Hanukkah to them. Right. They say, you say Merry Christmas. If they, you know, a lot of times they'll say Merry Christmas back or Happy Holidays, whatever. That's fine. Don't get offended. You know? Again, it, it comes down to labels. Right. It comes it, down to labels and people just being nitpicky no. and trying to make shit more complicated. Right. It, it should be okay if I say. Either or, Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays. You know, yep. don't don't cut me off. And say why can't you just say Merry Christmas? Why can't you say you know, Merry why Christmas? can't you just say? I'm not saying I can't, right? But I mean, why can't? Why, why do you have Happy to say Holidays that? covers all of it, <laughs> oh, right? Happy Hall, but if I you know, but if stuff, I want to say Merry Christmas, I'm going to say Merry Christmas. Like, what if what if your boss came over? You can't say that. It's my right, freedom of speech. So, uh you don't have freedom of speech. You that you fine line of freedom of speech at work. And, you know, that's a lot of people don't understand that. Freedom of speech, when you're at work, you're a representative of that company, fine line, and many courts have ruled on that. You have to be careful because you, whatever the, their employer policy is, you know, you, you don't have that right. You do I have call horse shit. So you do, you have a right, but like if you were at work or something, say you posted something on Facebook, you, you could, that that's okay. To, there's a big fight on that now, but that's actually okay. But the only reason I say it, if your if your boss heard you say something like that after he told you you can't say that, and you still say it, you probably could be fired for it. So well, then I'd be fired. But <laughs> because I am who I well, am. Well, he he couldn't blame you. Like I mean, this. I'm not going to be like outright rude or whatever. Yeah. You know what I mean? I can be tactful. Yeah. You know, you guys don't get much of that, but I can be. So <laughs> she can be when she's. Was he got a heads up on I'm that? I'm going to exercise my right to yeah, remain I'm silent. I... And, uh, <laughs> Anything you say can and will be used against oh, me. Oh, it definitely <laughs> would be held against me. Oh. Oh. Well, you know, if you're going to use it against her, better use it against her. Use it well. All right. I got, uh, I got one more topic. Uh, wow. That was, that was very nice. That was Excuse uh, me. classic. So those who were watching on Facebook saw her. And she leaned into that Ooh. microphone and let that air come out. I forgot we were on video, too. <laughs> 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 I'm looking at Springer. <laughs> oh, 
No, I got one more topic, though. What do you got, kid? Firearms. Oh, bang. You know I love Boom. the guns. Yep. <sighs> Allie loves Allie. Allie loves see, guns. See, I, 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 lo- <laughs> I love guns. Allie lusts guns. I lust guns. Give, give me a pistol grip for a minute. Just yeah, like, yeah, there you go. Here, 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 hold that. And this is what she looks like when she yeah, gets a hold of no, guns. No, I'm sorry. Just no. Uh, just hold, hold that, no, hold that. Close hand your hand. eyes. No, the no. other way. The other way. Close, close your eyes. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Put your thumb. No, up. there's nothing there. <laughs> Oh. There's nothing there. What the fuck? That it's the metal. Get Feel me the off. metal against your face. No, that does not get me off. If I vibrate it. Would... All right, so. Maybe. In America, Depends we Depends on my mood. We have the right to bear arms. So that's a that's a constitutional right, right? Yep. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, my then, God, people. This is my life. How come the states <laughs> are behind issuing permits? <clears throat> well, Massachusetts is a state thing. You know what I would like to know? constitutional right, though. You know, what I, matter, you know what I would like to know is... <coughs> now, I'm trying to get my nail tech license in Massachusetts oh, because luck. I yeah. am licensed in the state of Rhode Island right now. But apparently, the state board is doing quarry checks on people now. Yep. As of October 2016. Uh-huh. Um, so I'm probably fucked. I wouldn't say so. You heard that here first, folks, right here. <laughs> 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 I probably won't be able to get my mask license. Well, find out. Give it a shot. I won't pass a Corey. You fucking kidding me? <laughs> that's the old, the, but that's from the old me. It's not from the now me. You yeah, know what but I, mean? I think they're just so. I'm looking, like gonna have to pay for my pass for the rest of my fucking life. I think that they're just looking for like people who are doing drive-by nails. You know, violent, <laughs> violent nail crimes, maybe. Daggered. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> what a dose, huh? <laughs> Yeah, no, no, they're, they're looking They're looking for whatever the fuck they're looking for. I don't know what the fuck they're looking for, but they. It, I just think it's retarded that they're doing quarry checks for uh, cosmetologists, barbering, like barbers and well, she, nail techs. I mean... For, for future reference, uh, the on-air talent process is different than anyone else that wants to work at the Wicked Pizza Show. Um, you we, would have to go through a quarry and... Variety of other things. Uh, I'm grandfathered in. Yes, yes. I've been grandfathered in. Well, yeah, we don't do quarry checks. <laughs> Luckily, <laughs> you know, if, if you're talented enough, you don't get you don't get a quarry check. Yeah. No. So if you're the on air talent, w- welcome aboard. Uh, all others, they work for nothing in the back here. You must must line up. We are accepting uh, applications for interns. We, uh... No, we are not. <laughs> no, we need people to get us beer. And refresh drinks. Yes. That, see? There okay. You go. All right. Okay. I won't argue with that. Yeah. Back down. Okay. Uh, is he doing it? Oh, what are you <laughs> I'm like, you're beating yourself oh. with that stick. <laughs> All right. Allie. Oh, Lord. All right, guys. All right. Well, it's I, I been another we, wonderful episode of the Wicked Pizza Show. Yeah, I think um, we did that. Uh, yeah, I think. That point. Well, uh, as always, ill prepared. Um, you know, we had a few points we brought up, and I don't know. Oops, I'm and smashing just, shit on there. Yeah, I know. There you go. All right. Fucking hollow table, and you're smashing. Bang, bang. Hey, folks. He's knocking know? out the studio cat. That ringing sound that you hear. I really I really wish Chrissy would have called. We could have asked him about masturbation and all that. He would have answered. Oh, my now. God, yeah. Would've, oh, would've we, can, we can touch on that subject if um, you want before we get well, you know. I'm just curious. You know, what, what's some of the weirdest... What's the weirdest place that... You know, someone jerks off at. I mean, obviously, you saw the one the guy in San Diego, right there in the wide open. Um, I've, I heard down. Uh, I've I've seen stuff on movies like. Um, I've, oh shit! No, I even forget the movie. But <laughs> she's um, seen a movie, but no, 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 no. It, and it talked about how um, rest stops, rest areas, are a really big place for like gay men to like just pull over and fuck. It, well, they had that. Remember, they did had a couple of years back the Pike, yeah, the Turnpike by uh, where was it? They were doing. That.